Alright. Oh my god, this man said he has fucking connection in the woods. How? Possible. You next to like a cell tower or some shit? Would you want to load your save data? Yes. That would be lovely. That would be wonderful. If my save data was corrupted, I would start crying. I would break down into tears. Anyways. Welcome one. Welcome all. To more Sonic 06. Where we last left off, we finished Sonic Story. 100%. Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't it? It's not beautiful. It's not beautiful. It just shows you how much time wasted. It says about like six. It says six hours of play. Oh no. My bad. Not six hours of play. That's time. It doesn't show you how many hours you played. But now, as you can see by the overlay, today we're going to be moving on to Silver the Hedgehog, his story. Right? Certainly we'll have a lot of fun as we head back into the past, trunk style, save the future, destroy the androids, come back, kill Cell, you know, do all that Dragon Ball shit. Maybe we'll go Super Saiyan, who knows? I'm gonna shut up for now as we enjoy this cutscene. This world was devastated before I was born. A harsh, bleak place where we live in eternal darkness. Life is a struggle, and people live without hope. How did this happen? No one will answer me directly. But they always point to the flames. These flames, they burn away at my world, destroying everything in their path. They come from an eternal life form that we cannot truly defeat. The flames of disaster known as Iblis. Silver! Blaze, what's wrong? He's appeared again! Why can't I do that in the game? Why can't I fly around? It's basically supersonic without turning supersonic, you know. You fly around, he has psychic powers. Technically we can fly around, but we can't zip around like that. Makes me sad. Makes me mad. Makes me angry. But. <clears throat> so here we have the good old future boy, trunk style. You know. Good old future guy here. Known as Silver the Hedgehog. So. How does he play? Well. We saw in the uh, Sonic playthrough that you walk up to objects, right? You pick them up like so with your trigger and you just throw it at shit. That's pretty much all his gameplay. Nothing fancy. If you want, you can walk up to enemies. I guess I'll show that off now. If you want, you can walk up to enemies, smack them. Ow. Smack them like so. It'll paralyze them. And then you can pick them up. But that's not very useful. Why the hell would you ever do that? Right? So one thing you may notice right off the bat. Unlike Shadow and Sonic, Silver is slow as shit. Never mind the cutscene we just saw in which he uh, definitely flew across the fucking whole entire city at the speed of light. Yes, I know, narrator. I was getting there. So, as our wonderful friend the narrator said, after you jump in the air, you can hold the X button, levitate. You'll see... Ow, what the fuck hit me? I have no idea what hit me. But, you can see... Uh... What's his name? Silver is limited to his abilities via the energy gauge down there. And that's pretty much all you really need to know. Earlier, there's... Oh, there's life down there. I want it. I want that life because we all know that I have none because I'm playing this game. Now, if you ever 
want to for some reason, or need to, you can hop on the box, hold your psychic powers, and levitate. That's pretty cool. I guess if you need to bring a box with you somewhere, because the moment you, you know, moment you start levitating like this, I'm pretty sure you drop everything you're carrying. So, that's cool. There's spots like this in the game. You hold your psychic power, and he interacts with them in various ways. And that's pretty much it. I think that's everything Silver has for now. And now, we're just gonna slowly cry. Oh, God. Thanks, game. Thank you. Blaze died off screen somewhere. By the way, hey, Blaze is here. Some of you may know her from a little game known as Sonic Rush, where she made her first debut. And then since Sonic Rush, I believe there was a Sonic Rush 2, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Since Sonic Rush, uh, I'm assuming there was a Sonic Rush 2. And if there wasn't, then her next debut would be this game, in which... She got completely rebooted, uh, rebooted like everyone else, and she's no longer a uh, princess from a different dimension. She's just Silver's friend. I guess they're like, put the fire cat in the fucking fire world future. Kind of makes sense with her character, I guess. Because in Rush, you know, she's from a different dimension, so in this, she might as well just be from the future. Fuck it. Now, as Silver here, as Pothead the Porcupine, you want to grab as many lives as possible, because Silver is prone to death via all types of bullshit, because unlike Sonic and Shadow, he cannot run past all his problems. He cannot heed the wise words of Sonic the Hedgehog, which is, if you have time to worry, then run. Silver also, later on, we'll see, hopefully, depending on how far we make it, has one of the most annoying fucking stupid ass levels in the goddamn game well maybe not level but more like level section I guess maybe but overall sh uh, I was about to call him shadow silver as a whole not gonna lie it sucks that this is his first debut but I actually like the idea of silver have a hedgehog character you know that's not about speed it's more about just, you know, utility, I guess? I don't fucking know. Don't, don't quote me on anything. Don't quote me on any of this. Blaze died somewhere again. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Speed. Sometimes, Silver gets a boost of speed. Or you can just throw a million boxes at it, Silver. You don't have to think that hard about this enemy. We get it, Blaze. You're dead. We get it. Now, I believe... Out of all the characters in this game, Silver probably has the most combat sections because, honestly, that's all he can really do. This box is an explodey box. I guess it's different from the other boxes somehow. I think it paralyzes enemies. Or some shit. Or it has a bigger blast radius, I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know nothing about this game. Now, what really sucks is that... Since Silver's whole entire gameplay is about... Fucking around with physics and picking up shit and throwing it everywhere... The game slows down... A goddamn lot because you know frame rate's not fun but at least you do at least it's nice to have at least one character you can actually control I guess I guess one I guess two characters technically because spoiler warnings later on you get to play as blaze for very little bit though but throughout this whole entire game you will notice that blaze the cat is a character who has, for some reason, the best control scheme in the goddamn game because for some reason her control scheme isn't busted. Which is weird. Now where the hell do I go? I gotta jump on this fucking car. Come on, Amber Hank. Camera angle, help me. There you go. Grab 
grab that? Oh, shit. Now, what's fun is that for most of the times when you grab on boxes and shit, you really don't have to... You really don't have to aim or anything. Silver can kind of just aim by himself. Which is nice. It's nice that you don't have to think about it. Any more thought? Any more, uh... If you did have to think about shit in this game, you'd probably end up killing yourself by the end of it. Oh my god. What's that? Rings? I'll grab some. Excuse me, guys. Coming through. Don't mind me. Just saving the world. I'm so... Can you tell how excited I am to play a silver? <laughs> I'm so happy. Really, really happy. Hey, Blaze. Oh, hey. There we go. So, Blaze, she's a speedster, right? But she's not as fast as Sonic or, or Shadow. She has a double jump, which is pretty nice. Kind of kills momentum a bit. Actually, no. It, de it depends on how much momentum you have. If you have none, you really can't build up any. But you have a good amount. You know, it can help. I believe she also has a charge attack. There you go. If you're moving, you can use that. And I believe she has a air dash? Yes, that. I don't think I'll ever use it. I'll try using it. You know what? I'm scared that scared that I might kill myself using it. And she has a homing a homing attack. I forgot I had a double jump. Like just like that. <laughs> you can hear Silver die somewhere in the background. That's wonderful. Alright, let's see how this aerial shit goes. Huh, not bad. Not bad. There's a lot of control for it. So she is definitely the best character. Oh, she doesn't have a homing attack. Alright, yeah, because the double jump. Technically, this is her homing attack, I guess. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh my god, I fucking missed the damn... Missed the damn rail. Oh my... My Cheerios. I'm dropping them everywhere. Might as well grab this. Does nothing, but might as well grab it. It's free, so why not? Now, what's really interesting about Blaze is that if you look at any of the trailers, or I guess like... Oh my god, can I not? Can I not jump up there? If you look at a... Sorry, I got... <laughs> I got distracted because fucking... Because I didn't... I guess I couldn't dash at the goddamn bounce pad or some shit. I don't know. But uh, what's interesting about Blaze is if you look at the old demos and stuff for uh, Sonic 06, like all the, you know, before the game came out, you can see in the early builds, Sonic controlled a lot like Blaze, and it actually kind of worked. Well, I say kind of worked. It did work. But at some point during development, I guess... I guess either maybe because they were switching to a new engine or some shit. I'm not sure. But, um... Is that a life? I want that. There we go. Like, I don't know. Either they were switching engines or something must have happened within, like, the programming or something. But it feels like Blaze is the only character who kept all that shit from, like, earlier builds. It's kind of weird that earlier builds is were better than the goddamn later builds. The final product, I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm not a... I'm not a Sonic aficionado. You wanna... You wanna find Sonic aficionados, go check on, uh... You can find them at... Rule34.com Or .net Or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing. Fucking loading screens are going to be a death of me. All right. 
Yeah, we get to play as Blaze. Not any longer. Back to playing the bad game. Blaze is actually pretty fun to play as. And it sucks that... Honestly? Honestly? I find it really interesting that they went, Okay, new characters. Silver. Bam. Got it. Who's his partner? Blaze. Established characters who's had maybe two games before this. Why not just do it the other way around? Why not make Silver the Psychic? Right? Fucking frame rate. Holy shit. That tornado! He said that earlier, by the way. He said that earlier, Silver. Holy shit. Yeah, watch out, Blaze. Is a tor tornado's deadly. You don't need to get them, Silver. You just need to avoid them. Live long enough. Don't die. They're pretty generous with lives in the first stage here. I got 11 already. I already have more lives than I did with the Sonic playthrough. Huh. That's actually very generous. Thank you. Is it a good sign, or is it a bad sign? Who knows? Oh, hell no. Ah! Oh. I tried to grab him. Tried to grab the cars. Didn't work. Now I lost all my Cheerios. I will say, one of the things that I really hate... ...is that it doesn't matter how many fucking rings you have on you... ...the moment you get hit... ...you lose pretty much all of them. Sometimes you hold on to a bit of them. I believe I take this car, right, and I go up? Or some shit. Oh no, there's a wall. If the frame rate can work with me. Did I hit the wall? Nope. Nope. Oh, well, the monsters got it for me. Shit. It is really difficult when the frame rate doesn't want to help me. All right. Let's see. Hopefully I don't have to fight you and I can just move on. Nope, I think I have to fight you. Oh, I killed it. Nice. Where the hell am I going? Oh, there we go. I... Oh, it's a gold ring! Great. We did it! Good job. Great job, Blaze. You know, just keep in watch. I better get a fucking S rank. Alright, you know, I'm not mad about it. That's okay. It's only Sonic 06. You did it. You cleared the tutorial stage. Amazing. I just want to play as Blaze more. I just want to play as Blaze. Blaze is so damn cool. Only fun f character in this fucking game. Oh no, it's chaos! I mean, Iblis! It's fire chaos. Chaos is water, Iblis is fire. It's very creative. <laughs> it's very creative. I'm happy. Can you tell how happy I am? Playing this game? Just elated. Oh no, it's Iblis! Defeat Iblis! Did they give me a loading screen just to like show Iblis and then fucking give me another loading screen to load the boss? You kidding me? Why does Shadow's fucking art look shitty? It's all like dusted and shit. It's weird. Alright! Iblis! Ha! Huh. Well, that didn't work. I tried my best. Now, it's been a while since I played this, so I think you just catch what he throws at you, really. Like so. Then you throw it at his face or something. Well, I can't really aim if he does. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Let's move out the way. Oh, 
Wow, that looked pathetic. I think I gotta jump. I think I gotta jump and shoot, right? No. How the fuck do I hit his head? Yeah, you do gotta jump and shoot. Okay, cool. Do it Mega Man style. I think you can only aim for it when he's like tired or some shit. I'm not really sure. Frame rate, come on. Please. Ow, what the fuck hit me? Fuck you, Iblis. You knocked all my Cheerios out of me. I'm gonna grab these. They're mine now. I think I'm safe here. I should be safe here. I don't feel safe here. Okay. I'll take the debris. Thank you very much. Big boy takes a lot of damage. I have no idea what hit me, but I'm guessing it's the explosion or some shit. Just knocking my Cheerios around. That's cool. As long as I have one Cheerio, I can fight off heart disease. Fight off cholesterol. Now let me grab these debris over here. Oh shit. That's what I don't want to happen. You don't want to throw things too fla- uh, flash? You don't want to throw things too fast, because then they'll fucking collide into each other. And just blow up in your face. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Give me Cheerio. I don't know why I picked that up. I wanted it. I just wanted it. It was shiny. I couldn't stop looking at it. It was mine. I wanted it. And I got it. Ow! And it directly on me. That's cool. I got one Cheerio. I'm happy. My fucking god. Should be fine, right? No, it's not over. It isn't over yet. Don't let your guard down. So, ew. He's ugly without his headpiece. I mean, he's ugly regardless, but... Looks like a fucked up Charmander now. Maybe? Charmander doesn't have four arms. What am I saying? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Now... Where's some debris or some shit? I feel like I have to... Am I missing something? I gotta wait for something. I think he's gonna, like, spit rocks at me or some shit. What are you gonna do? Oh, same thing. Got it. Just move out the way. Oh, come on. The shadow wasn't on me. There we go. He's done. We can move on with our lives. Maybe not. Maybe not suffer anymore. You have bested me, Silver. I am now defeated. I shall be gone. But I'll be back. I always come back. Time? Four minutes? Yeah, that seems about right. 
we're still in the tutorial stage and we've been we've been playing this game for like almost 30 minutes now there's a there's something wrong with that picture of course it took too long it's not my fault so we're fucking the goddamn iblis Of course I would like to save my progress. Why wouldn't I? You think I want to do this shit again? Well, I guess if I get to play as Blaze, then I would want to do it again. Maybe. Looks like we stopped it for now. But it'll just rise up from its ashes again. What's the point of all this? It'll never end. Calm down, Silver. Yeah, Silver, calm down. It's only eternal damnation. How can we completely destroy Iblis? For once, you can stop crying like a bitch. By knowing the truth, of course. Shadow! It's you! Just as a flower comes from a seed, or a chicken comes from an egg, everything has an origin. You need to find the being originally responsible for this catastrophe. Shadow, what happened to your mouth? Really the answer to our problem? What's wrong with your face? Tell me, do you know who it is? Are you gonna answer that question, Shadow? No? Okay, cool. Just make just making sure. You know. You take your time. Do you. No mouth have an ass. To fix this present timeline, you need to change the past. But that's impossible! With my help, you can. Because I have the power to travel through time. No I don't believe that. Way. In order to change the past, <laughs> no way! You must eliminate the individual who has awakened Iblis, the Iblis Trigger. Iblis Trigger. I like the sound of that. I think I'll make it my catchphrase. Eliminate that guy. Will our world be saved? The day of disaster. Here are my records of this event. This was when Iblis was freed, and his flames were released into the world. And you have this person to blame. This gym? <gasps> it's a hedgehog! He's on fire! I should help him. Trigger? Blue Hedgehog. Yes, Blaze, Blue Hedgehog is the opposite of red. I'll send us back in time to the point when the Iblis Trigger was alive. I love how Silver, great judge of character here, just says, Hey, this guy's kind of weird. He kind of stares off blankly. He actually never blanks at all. He has no mouth. Tilts his head and like, you know, weird angles and shit. Talks very menacingly. I'll trust him 100, 100%. I trust him. Also, Silver goes, it's impossible to travel to the past. So are we just going to assume that nobody knows about the Chaos Emeralds in the future somehow? Blaze? Blaze, where'd you go? Blaise. Don't leave me. She went to a better game. We all got separated. This is so unbelievable. I can finally see grass. I never knew grass was so grassy. Now I must fight for the future. Fucking sound effects of him running. Now, I must fight for the future. 
fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> Objective. Find the Iblis trigger. Well, that's easier said than done. Oh, come on, loading screen. The Iblis trigger. Where is he? First, I need to gather information. Where's the Iblis trigger? We gotta get information. I think... Honestly, I think... I don't think we really need to get information. I think all we need to do is head towards the jungle level, right? I'm pretty sure there's no, uh... There's no, like... Objective I have to do. And since we start off with the... Hey, look, it's a dog! That's it, bitch. It's a ball. It's my ball. I'm taking it. You can't have it. Actually, let me try something. I think if I double tap the, uh... I think there has to be, like, multiple items, but if you double tap the grab button... Hmm, I guess he does it later, maybe. You can't pick up these chairs? That's weird. But he does the, uh... He does the grab that he does on Sonic or whatever. When he, like, floats in the air and he stands there like he's a Super Saiyan or something. Stan, I guess, hover. Now, what's really annoying here is that because Silver's the goddamn slowest hedgehog out of all of them, and out of every character in this game. Uh, actually, you know what? Spoilers, you get to play as Amy later on. I think she's actually the slowest in the goddamn game. But, um, since he's the slowest, and this area is so fucking big, it's not fun. <laughs> It's not fun getting around anywhere. And, levita and levitating doesn't even feel that fast either, so... Because you gotta wait for him to get some height. I think I'm going the wrong way, right? Yeah, I am going the wrong way. I think I gotta head towards, like, the lake or some shit. I think that's what I gotta do. Hope everyone enjoyed... Hope everybody's enjoying the scenery. Just green and and gray and some brown over there. A little bit of a God damn it. <laughs> Why are there no like dash pads or anything for silver here? You need something. I think I went the complete opposite fucking way, so now I gotta run all the way over here. It's gonna take my sweet ass time. If you want to for some reason, you can do missions. Which are the people with the blue fucking highlights on their head. Uh... I don't think I go that way, right? Which way leads to the, uh... Oh no, I think I remember what I have to do now. Aw, oh, shit. I think I gotta talk... I think the... The guy that I walked past earlier... The first guy with the blue mark above his head... I think he has to fix the bridge. In order to do that, he needs us to do something for him. What the hell's in here? Now, you may ask yourself, later on down the road, does Silver get any faster? The answer is, I guess, maybe he gets some upgrades, but none of them are really, like, speed important. Oh, hey, speaking of upgrades, let's see if we have any right now. Welcome. Ah, power bracelets. Use grab all. This allows you to grab things in a wider range. That's nice. Single layered extreme. That's a weird name. Allows you to use hold smash. This allows you to throw what you have grabbed in a single throw. What? This allows you to throw what you have grabbed in a single throw. Oh, you mean like throw everything out? Why would I want to do that? If you do that, they all collide into each other. And they fucking fall apart. Let me see, I think this is the... Well, I need something to grab first. Power bracelet is definitely gonna help, though. Let me see, is it a visual thing on silver that changes? I don't think so. Sonic had a visual change earlier with the bounce bracelet. Which was interesting, because I never actually noticed that in this game. Oh god, am I going the right way? I think it's this way. Huh. 
I feel like running is just faster. I feel like running is just faster. Alright, I think it's this guy. He has to fucking repair the bridge or some shit. Let me see. Hey there, I was trying to carry these apples and they fell over. The apple picking season, Soliano. You wanna help me? Fuck no, go fuck yourself. Maybe it's this guy over here. Hey dude, aren't you like fixing the bridge or some shit? This road leads to New City. If you want to go go through the jungle, that's probably the wrong way. So, oh, so I do got to go through the jungle. Okay, cool. But the jungle is like near the... I, where is... Ah, damn it. There's no map button to help us, so... I forgot there's a button to reset your angle. That's weird. Not weird, but... I didn't expect this game to have it. You can also... Move the camera with the shoulder buttons. Ugh. I don't like that. <laughs> reminds me of old, uh... Reminds me of, reminds me of Kingdom Hearts 1, actually. Holy shit. Original Kingdom Hearts 1 had no support for the... Well, I guess you can interact with your command menu with the right stick, but, uh... Moving the camera, no support with the right stick. You have to use the fucking shoulder buttons. All right. Now I ran all the fuck over here. Does this lead to the jungle? Does this lead to the fucking lake area? No. What leads to the lake area? I shouldn't go over there just yet. Fuck you, Silver. I think that leads to, uh, Kingdom Valley. Where the fuck leads to the fucking lake? Did I make, like, a wrong... I wish there was, like, a map. Wish there was a map I can use. You know? Little pocket map here. Mini map don't help because you can barely see anything. I'm clicking the buttons, too. To see if I can, like, make it larger or anything. Uh, not in this cave. It's been there the whole time, so you can trust me on that. It should be around here. It's the only other place someone could hide would be the jungle. Fuck you. I am heading towards jungle. So, that leads to the bridge. Is I guess I gotta run all the fuck over. Is that a passageway over there? I guess that leads to the lake then. We'll be there one day. Yeah, this yeah, this definitely leads to the lake. I can already see it. So I was right. I was right, but at least we got the at least we got the fucking upgrades sooner rather than later, so that's fine, I guess. Oh, how the fuck oh, here we go. I should be able to make that, no problem. Uh oh! Momentum! 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 Hello! That did not feel good. Except me! Great mystical magical mirror of transportation. Or wherever the hell that damn thing is. Escape the jungle ruins. These are jungle ruins? I thought it, I thought it was just a jungle level. I didn't know it was ruins. Oh, I guess it is ruins. You can see them over there. Huh. I actually don't remember much of this. My psychokinesis. Oh my god. <laughs> Frame rate is not gonna be fun. But what is fun is grabbing the enemy's missiles and shit. 
I do like that. Let me see. See if I can do the the big uh, the big grab. There you go. Yeah, if you ever want to use this, you can double tap it, but you gotta have multiple items with you. I guess that's like the uh, the big attack they were talking about, but nobody fucking uses that shit. Good job, me. Come on, frame rate. Work with me here. Oh, God. Gotta swing a couple of times. No problem. Now, where the hell am I going? Guess I'm going this way. Am I going on a turtle? Hmm. I actually don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be going. It is fun to grab their, to grab their own items and stuff, throw it at them. All right, well that's that's not gonna help. Can I just go around? I think I can just go around actually. I'm pretty sure this isn't how you're supposed to do it, but fuck it, who cares? Oh my god! Come on, get some momentum. Yes, Silver, they are. Don't know why it took you that long to figure it out. I mean, you got psychokinesis and shit. I would assume that you have more brain power than that, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, they shoot. Shoot guns. One of them shoots missiles, though. Fucking box. Oh my god, fuck it. I don't need to fight you. I wish I could go up. I wish I can not play this game. But you know, can't get everything you wish for. If you did that, life wouldn't be any fun. Now would it? Scratch that, life would be so fun if you can get everything you fucking wish for. Oh my god, life would be amazing. Oh, you guys have no arms. You got little Android 16 gun things. There we go. Amazing. I think I could knock that pillar over. Well, if I can hit the damn thing. Nope, guess not. How do I... I think what I need to do is grab one of these with me. Just use a little bit of... Pretty sure this isn't how I do it, but oh well. Now what am I going to use this for? What do you use for? Big old stone? Rolling stones? Eh, whatever, fuck it. Guess I'll just head over there then. I do not remember much about this level, actually. Hey guys, how's it hanging? Oh, it's a little guy. Oh, shit. Ow. It's not good. Come on, frame rate, work with me here. Can I just smack him? Nope, they block it. That's cool. Rabbit, Silver, please. There you go. Good job, Silver. Amazing. Fantastic. Fuck it. I don't even know... What is... Oh, that's just a life. Fuck it. I don't even need that. I... Oh my 
God, I really don't know where the hell to go here. Maybe I go that way? No, I came from that way, right? I think I gotta go up higher. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the Oh, shit! No! Should have paid attention to how much, uh... How much, uh, whatchamacallit, rings I had. I'm hearing a fucking, I'm hearing what sounds like the gold ring. It might be above me. Sounds like gold ring. Hold up. Ah, oh, shit. I knew I was forgetting something. Definitely remembered that you can, uh... Check those pedestals or whatever. Pedestals? Not pedestal. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Tiles. Get that out of here. Can I make that? Well, it doesn't matter. I can make this, so... Wait, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> I guess I kind of did it backwards. Huh. Let me see. There's a bunch of rings in here. Guess I'll take that. One of these might have, like, a fucking, uh, bounce pad in it or some shit. Man, that doesn't take me high enough. Can I... I came from up there. Where's the, uh... Oh, fuck. Who's shooting at me? Give me this tile. Uh-oh. Jump, silver. Okay. Use this. Uh-oh. That's not good. Run around a bit. There's a bounce pad. There we go. Ow. I'm not losing that many rings, though. Okay, so I'm here now. What is the plan? Was there a, uh... God, it sounds like fucking... Is the gold ring above me or some shit? I can hear the damn thing. There's an extra life down there. Guess I'm supposed to go that way, maybe? Probably, most likely. Excuse me, robot, coming through. Don't mind me. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. There we are. So we're just talking about hitting this fucking rock or whatever. Don't know what that did. Did something. Wait, what? Where am I? It seems I'll need to defeat them first. Oh, you think, Silver? No, nah, they'll just let you through. No problem. If you ask politely. I don't even think I need to beat them fucking Indiana Jones boulders doing it for me. Well, that was easy. Gold ring! Probably got a shitty score for that one. Lay it on me, game. What I got? A B. 
That's not a good sign. <laughs> of course I would love to save my progress. I don't ever want to go through that jungle again. Oh my god, it's Blaze. So, this is the past. <laughs> Two houses, huh? I hope Silver is okay. He's pretty insecure when he's alone. He's pretty insecure when he's alone. What does he have to be insecure about when he's alone? Blue Hedgehog. Yes, Blaze. I'm just going to spoil it right now. I don't think Blaze has anything to contribute with that thought process. She kind of just mutters that to herself. And then you go like, oh, maybe, maybe like, I don't know. She's having like some sort of psychic link to fucking Sonic Rush or something. Because she wouldn't know Sonic or something. I don't fucking know. But nope, that's not the case. Nothing like that. She just goes like, huh, Blue Hedgehog. I guess. All right, and that's it, really. She has nothing else to add to that thought. A blue hedgehog. Can it be true? I need to find silver fast. Can it be true? I don't know, can it? Fucking you came to the past to find out, I guess. Look how fun this is. Look how fun is it? It's more fun with Blaze. It's more fun with Blaze. This whole game should have just been Blaze. Hello, Blaze. Out of all the Sonic characters... Oh, shit. Okay, I thought... <laughs> I thought I was gonna run off the edge. Oh, come on. No. Grab that. Grab that, Blaze. You can do it. Damn it. Now, she has a little charge attack. I don't like it. I mean, it's cool, but... It's more fun to just do this. Oh, shit. I don't know. Makes me feel active. But, um... Blaze is definitely, uh... One of my top three favorite characters in Sonic. I have, uh... I have not the, um... Whatchamacallit? Probably not the most popular... Favorite characters in Sonic. I mean, a lot of people love Blaze, though. Blaze is great. When it comes to, uh... Sonic... Characters, my favorite characters are, uh... Top three... Number one is Cream. I just love Cream. She's adorable. She's adorable and she's fun to be around. Right? Number two is Blaze because she's just cool as shit. And number three for me is actually Amy. And I know a lot of people hate Amy. Right? Because like... The whole like she's a stalker thing or whatever. Which... That's just more of a... Oh shit. That's just more of a like cultural thing for Japan I guess. I mean... It's supposed to be like an anime thing. Also, if you're gonna have a stalker, might as well be Amy, right? She doesn't do anything too crazy. All she does is kind of just go like, Hey, I miss you, and then hugs you, I guess. It's not like she's taken many tufts of Sonic's hair or anything like that, you know? But, Amy's fun, right? It's nice to have, like, a character that has, like, all that girly charm. Right? And if you want a badass, independent female lead, you give it to Blaze, because she gets shit done. Also, what I find really interesting is that, you know, Sonic Rush, Blaze is a princess or whatever, of her own, like, uh, of her own, like, homeland, because she's in a different dimension or whatever the fuck. But, um, <laughs> she's not a princess in this game, but the princess in this game does jack all almost jeopardizes the whole entire fucking world twice she's really lame if you need a princess character that's badass and you know get shit done for her people blaze is your type of blaze is your type that you get also apparently in the comics i guess i recently found this out 
Blaze and Cream are like best friends, apparently. Which is amazing. Two of my favorite characters. I can't complain either. It was fun as fuck playing as Blaze. She has she has such short segments. Her levels are so goddamn short. If every character played like Blaze, this game would be like ten times better. Her gameplay isn't perfect, but like, but you know, it's, it's pretty much that it's good. She controls well in this game. Maybe a little bit too much speed, but you know, it's not a, it's not a problem because you can course correct with her double jump. So Blaze is cool. I finally found him. The Iblis trigger. Then kill him. He's not looking. Go get him. Do it. Now, you can do it, Silver. I believe in you. Ray. What do you mean? Now, I'm white. You Let go of me. Hey, you're not Sonic. Um, I'm sorry. Amy, why are you on a rooftop? I'm. Huh? Hey, where'd he go? Oh man, he's so fast. He must have run off. Sorry, did you miss someone because of me? Uh, it's okay. I'm sure the guy I'm looking for is still on the island. I'm sure I can still find him. Well, then I'll help you. What? Two heads are better than one when looking for someone. Hey, just wait a second. What's your name? My name is Silver the Hedgehog. That's a nice name. <laughs> I love how he's so, like... <laughs> He's so disappointed about it. He's like, she's like, what's your name? He's like, mm, Silver. <laughs> My name's Silver. Find the person Amy's looking for. What do you mean find the person Amy's looking for? Aren't we supposed to be looking for my person? Fuck you, Amy. She goes, I'll help you find who you're looking for. Mission objective, find who Amy's looking for. What? <laughs> Isn't that counterintuitive? She lied to me. All right, loading screen. We get it. Thank you. Maybe I'll talk to some people in the town. Ah! Oh my god! Get used to hearing Amy's fucking jump voice clip. Is gonna piss you off. Ah! I'm already getting pissed off. All right, let's see. What do you got? Get to the forest from the other side of the town. Okay, great. I just came back. I just came from the goddamn forest. I honestly forget what I have to do here. <laughs> Oop, my bad, didn't mean to hit you. You're on vacation, blah blah blah. I don't think I go to hold up. Oh, we go to the desert. Wanna go to the desert? What should I do? We pass through, but Lord Regis issues passes. Okay. Hey, gotta find him. Oh shit. I think he's the I think he's like the only character that walks around with like a top hat or some shit. I guess I gotta find him. Shut the hell up, Amy. Oh my god. You're killing me already. Now, I'm trying to remember where I can find the goddamn mayor of this goddamn place. And she died. <laughs> and Amy died. That's great. That's amazing. Hey there, Amy. Dropping the frame rate. Oh my fucking god. You got anything for me? Good sir. No, I already got all these. Okay, cool. Great. Let's see. Uh, previous Duke of Soliana was a nobleman. He's very intelligent. Everybody loved him. Something like that to happen. Never mind. Just ramblings of an old man. Fucking shit. I really don't remember much about Silver's fucking town adventures. Where would the mayor be? I think he might be like, uh... I think he might be like, tucked away towards like, the city area? Right? Or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. 
I'm surprised that I even remember what I did from Sonic's campaign. No. Maybe he's like over here. Like over in that area. Ahead of us. Alright, Amy. I hear you back there. You're dying. That's cool. You'll walk it off. Death is only a state of mind. Oh, there he is. My bad. Oh no, Eggman's mechs are trying to smash the gate down. Oh, we gotta protect the city gate. I forgot about this shit. He didn't even ask me if I wanted to help. He just kind of forced me. <laughs> he just said, oh no, the gate's down. Well, I guess you're here now. By the way, check out this loading screen. Isn't it cool? <laughs> Professor Layton's looking real weird. <laughs> I never actually... You know what? I never actually played Professor Layton. And I want to. Didn't, uh... Who was it? Was it Phoenix Wright and Professor Layton that had a crossover? <sighs> I gotta do this in a fucking time limit. Are you kidding me? Come on, Silver, grab all this shit. There we go. Which one of you bastards shot me? Don't even gotta look. Don't even gotta look. Where- are you above me? Where are you? Am I- camera, please help me. Where the fuck? Are you- oh, there you are. Frame rate? You're not helping. Give me these missiles. They're mine, I'll take them. I need them. Let's see. <laughs> you want to see if we could just go on a red lobster? What the hell? <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh, I didn't even know I had the missiles on me. Ow! Blew up right in front of my face. Much like this video game. There you go, he's dead. I did it. Alright. So they did have a crossover. Okay. Yeah, I always wanted to play the Professor Layton games. But I just never, I never got a chance to. Are they all on the DS? <laughs> like, they're on the DS and 3DS, right? Thank you, the town's saved. Thanks for you, as promised, here's the pass to the desert. I can't believe I need a fucking pass to the desert. Of all places. It's handheld. Didn't, uh, one thing I do remember about Professor Layton is that, uh, I think he had, like, a psychic character? Or, like, uh, he has two psychic characters, right? He has, like, the kid and he has, like, the woman that's with him, right? And wasn't there, like, a big thing happening or something in one of the games where it was, like, her final, her final, uh, adventure with him? And then I think she got, like, her spinoff game or something? <laughs> Little Chimney Sweep. He did look like that. He did look like a kid that's like, Mr. Layton, can I please have some more potato soup? We did it, Amy. Now we can head to the desert, because for some reason we need a pass to enter the fucking desert. What's in the desert? I don't know. Didn't play all those, just the crossover? Okay. Because I remember, like, I think it was uh, on, like, a Nintendo Direct or something. It, like, really stuck out for some reason. It was, uh, like, in one of the trailers, she's all like, this is my final adventure with Layton, or whatever. Now we can go into the desert. <laughs> Little Timmy just really wanted to do puzzles. Yeah. I would love to play Professor Layton. All of it is touchscreen though, right? Mm, I sense Sonic's presence here. Call it my girlish intuition. 
What am I doing? What are you doing, Silver? Sorry. As soon as I find Sonic, I'll help you find who you're looking for, Silver. Is there is everything all right, Silver? So beautiful. What? You mean this desert? Everything is so great here, isn't it? The sky is gorgeous and everyone's happy. Everyone, it's a fucking desert. No one's here. Let's go. I'll help you find who you're looking for. I mean, that was the plan. Puzzles mostly easy, but some actually puzzled you. Okay. <laughs> Zero out of everyone's so happy. Staring at the fucking sand and dirt and shit. Now, we all know Amy's fiendish for Sonic, but I don't think she's fiendish enough to go through a whole entire fucking desert for him. Come on. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Oh, is this the fucking level with the stupid ass goddamn ball pushing mechanic? Fuck this. So, in this level, for some reason, Silver has puzzle mechanics. Yeah. So I think I gotta... I forgot what I gotta do here. I think I gotta fucking... Take one of you guys and drop you in or some shit. Right? Oh shit, my bad. I don't know, I forgot what I had to do here. Some bullshit like that. I have to drop something in. Right? Fuck it, I'll just kill you. It's easier that way. We'll figure it out. Uh oh, missiles. There you go. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there's the fucking stupid ass things. Yeah, you can't, for some stupid reason, you can't use your psychic powers on it. So they all have numbers on them. And you need to hit them with the. Am I getting shot at? This leads to nowhere, right? I don't think this leads. Oh, got a fucking metal. That's great. But, um. Yeah, you just need to hit them into the thing, and the more you hit them, the number would go down. So, get them all in. Ugh, fucking... This is not fun. I'm definitely not gonna do it with this amount of hits. So, might as well just wear them out, right? Might as well just wear it out. There you go, they're going, they're going to explode. And then more are going to come down. I do like the soundtrack here, it's pretty fucking nice. Oh, come on! God damn it. You go that way. Not in that one. You're good. Four hits. You in there. You in there. I have no idea where the other ones went. <laughs> this looks fun. No, the fuck it doesn't. Stop lying. <laughs> I don't lie when I see one. Oh, this is fun though. If you come down here and you get hit by this, you just get pushed by the fucking sand. And sometimes you can get stuck back there. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Oh my god. Silver jump, please. There we go. Grab these rings, they're mine. Great! Now, nah, oh fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Now that over there, that crystal thing... Fucking replenish, uh, replenish. Wow, not even saying the word correctly. Replenishes your little magic meter. So do that. There should be a switch somewhere. Oh shit! Where am I going? Over here. Look at this guy. He got balls for hands. That's fun. 
You're fun. Now you're dead. At least you had a fun life, you know? Oh, and here we get our first instance as playing as Amy. Somehow, I believe she controls worse than silver. So, attack, right? She has her Pico Hammer, right? I think she does a spin attack or some shit. Nope, she doesn't. She just has her standard hit. That's it. She doesn't run as fast. She runs, she might even run slower than silver. And she has a double jump. You may think that the double jump is great, but here's a regular jump. Pretty cool, you know. Her double jump, however, kills all momentum she has. Now, it's not that bad in this area, but there's one area in the game where that double jump will get you killed multiple times, if you're not careful enough. You know what, what, what really disappoints me though, is that like, I don't know why, but in like everything that Amy is ever in, they just make her like useless. Well, I guess not counting Sonic Heroes, but Sonic Heroes, you gotta play with Big the Cat, so fucking whoop de doo right? But I wish they made Amy like more competent, right? They did that with Sonic Boom, but they still didn't have enough of her, and she wasn't different enough. Good thing I can glitch this shit out. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Greatest character in history, Big- oh, Fuck Big the Cat. Big the Cat is so fucking useless. God. Like... Like, here's an example. Like... Every- I'm pretty sure everyone knows Big the Cat is fucking useless, right? No problem. Like, I don't think... I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that likes Big. Mostly, ironically. But, uh... The, the main problem with Big is not that he's a, you know, big fat O for anything. It's that he's a stupid character. But him being stupid is just... It's not fun in any way possible. It's just really annoying. Right? For example, Knuckles isn't the smartest guy in the room. Right? He's super gullible. He's a fucking idiot. And he gets pissed off almost as much as Raphael from the goddamn Ninja Turtles, right? But at the end of the day, Knuckles is so fucking headstrong and competent enough to deal with the situations that he gets into that it doesn't matter that he's stupid and gullible and shit. You love him, right? Big, on the other hand, the best example I can... <laughs> he just loves frogs. My froggy. The best example I can get for Big is if anyone's ever watched Moana, right? In that movie, the movie starts off and she's, she has her two fucking animal buddies, the pig and the goddamn stupid chicken. Now you're looking at it and you're like, oh, she's gonna go on an adventure with that goddamn pig. Cause the pig is, seems pretty competent and smart. Little did you know, she went on the adventure with the goddamn stupid chicken and the whole entire time, the chicken is like nearly getting killed. And it's not even like it's nearly getting killed and everyone's worried about it. Like, as the action's going on and shit, no one's even worried about the chicken and it just manages to survive the whole entire time. And that's what Big is, right? No one pays attention- what the fuck? I don't think that's how doors work. But the whole entire time, Big is just fucking- oh, I'm going backwards now. Pigs is just meandering his way through the whole entire story, getting into situations that can get him killed, and no one really cares that he's there anyways, and no one's even worried that he'll get hurt or anything. So he's just kind of there, watching him, like, baby his way through a fucking construction site like it's the goddamn Tom and Jerry. <laughs> right? And it's fun for like maybe a couple of seconds, but for like a whole playthrough and then you still see him in other people's playthrough and no one gives a shit about him. <laughs> that sounds like he's adventurous. 
He's not even adventurous. That's the worst part about it. The worst part about it is that he's chasing the fucking frog. And it... And I understand if it was all like, you know, my frog loves me, I'll do anything for my frog. But at no point ever does the fucking frog show any sign of loving Big. It's just kind of there living. And it's like, eh, I'm gonna go this way now. <laughs> right? Like, it's not even, it's not even like a fucking, it's not even like a dog that's like, you know, like, if you have a dog, sometimes your dog might walk off or whatever, but then you yell their name and they go like, all right, I'm coming back. I get it. You know, they won't stray too far. If you, you know, have a properly trained dog. <laughs> but, um, but like the frog is nothing like that. It's just all like, I'm going to go over here. And I'm gonna go live my life and, f you know, fucking Froggy's just like, keep picking up the goddamn Froggy. My bad. Fucking Big shit keeps taking the goddamn frog. Like, I'm pretty sure Big is the fucking guy from Mice and Men, right? You know, just pet the fucking bunny rabbit. I just wanted to pet the bunnies. <laughs> I just wanted my Froggy. God, I hate Big. I hate Big so much. And what's even... Uh, God, what's even... <laughs> what even makes me hate him more is that, like, you know, I feel I feel like they can do a lot with Amy if they wanted to, right? Give her more efficience on her Pico Hammer. Have that woman rage. Built up rage inside of her. Have her, like, super strong, maybe. Or something. Because Amy's competent, right? But most of the time, they just treat her like an idiot. What really sucks is that they pair her up with Big. But that's not even the worst part. The worst part is they pair fucking Cream up with Big. Cream, from Sonic Adventure... From Sonic Advance 3, right? The most overpowered character ever. They pair her up with Big. Come on! Like, I could see Cream hanging out with Big, because, like, you know, she's a sweetheart, and she'll deal with his stupidness. But I don't see Amy hanging around with Big. Because I feel like, I feel like Big wouldn't give Amy enough attention because he's too busy touching a goddamn frog. <laughs> exactly. Come on, guy. Come on. Upset is that porcelain pot can be destroyed at one big. <laughs> exactly. I'm not even worried about the pots. I'm just, oh God, I'm just getting shot around. Give me that spike ball. Good job. There we go. More fucking robots. Thank you, I'll take that. Come on, frame rate, work with me here. I know you can't handle all the physics, but... How many more enemies we have in this room? <laughs> He's like, well, I guess that's done. All right, is this the infamous puzzle? This is the infamite puzzle, okay. Sonic 3 these games, best difficulty is just dropping more enemies. Exactly. We can all blame- we can all blame fucking Sonic Heroes for giving enemies health bars. God fucking damn it. Cause they're like, we need the power character to feel important in some way. Right? Fucking power character. Alright. So, here's the infamous puzzle, right? What you need to do, you need to take this puzzle, take this puzzle, take this ball, push it all the way through, Navigate it all the way through, right? All the way to the end where there's a nice little pool-sized socket. And you could be stuck here for hours because there's no proper ball pushing mechanics and the physics just go stupid. So, let's try it. I have done this in total. I have beaten, I think I've beaten Sonic 06. 
like all the way till the final chapter or whatever. Maybe a total of like three times, right? So this would be my fourth. I have manually pushed this puzzle, a uh, puzzle, manually pushed this ball every goddamn time, right? And, you know, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Cause it also gets stuck on the wall and then sometimes you may not even make it within the fucking counts that you have. It bounces everywhere. And it sucks. Right? One more hit. Bam, done. So. What's really awesome about this. I actually found this out quite recently. And by recently, I mean probably about like a year ago. What you can do, because this game is so broken. Just grab this fucking box. Right? Oh, come on, physics. Worth me here. Fucking... Nope. Come on, box. We're gonna do this. And you can... Grab this box. Clip through this fucking door. Oh! No! no! <laughs> the camera angle killed me. Don't worry, we got 11 lives. It's fine. But basically, if you do it correctly, you can clip through that door and the gold ring is just right there. And I'd rather try and die a million times fucking glitching through this because I never actually did it before, so. I'd rather try a million times doing that than fucking with that ball puzzle. Oh, come on. You come with me. Come with me, box. Over here. Over here. I think I need you a little bit closer. If I can fucking control you, damn it. Where are you at? There you are. Nope! Don't go into the fucking hole now. Jesus. There we go. Now we're gonna try and clip through this shit. Cuz. Oh, fuck this. Let's see. Oh, come on. It's like you gotta go, you gotta go through like the corner of the door. Almost there, Silver, you can do it. Oh, damn it. It's like a weird collision thing. Come on. Just fuck. You gotta get it up there. Like Silver has to be on the edge. And you gotta get it through here. Fuck. Or maybe it's above that. Maybe it's like above here or something. It's definitely where this camera's fucking like wigging out at. Come on. Come on, Silver. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Oh, shit. Come on, Silver. You can get through that door. I know you can. Come on. Let me through, baby. Just slide on in there. Come on, Silver. You gotta finagle it. You gotta, you gotta wiggle yourself in there. You know, get a little bit of lubrication. Making the game glitch the fuck out. Come on! I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You son of a bitch. You can hear the sweet rings of fucking of the goal, just right there. See? <laughs> Don't know, it's kind of strange, looks around nervously. Exactly. Come on, I know it's the corner, man. <sighs> so you get to that point and like, Silver lets go by himself. 
Come on, squeeze through there. Almost had it. Almost had it. I gotta get, like, close to the edge. Oh, come on. No, damn it. Put put the fucking box down. Put the box down, Silver. I might, I might have to look it up to see how to do it. But I know you can do it. You gotta... Did I ever see anyone do it? Yes, I've seen I've seen it online and I've seen it in person. I just never did it before. So I want to actually try and see if I can do it, but you gotta really like clip through it, or maybe it's a uh, maybe it's not under the thing. Maybe it's like above or something, like around here or something. Let me see. Alright, I'll give it a couple more tries. Ah, damn it. I'll give it a couple more tries and then I'll... I'll look up a quick video. Come on. Come on, Silver. I know you can get it. Damn it. Maybe I have to jump into it. Oh, damn it. Thought I did it there. The fact that the camera's freaking out means that I'm doing it. Doing it at a good enough angle. Alright. Give me a second, let me see it. Because I don't want to do that fucking ball puzzle. I've done it too many times in my life and I definitely don't want to do it here. Let's see. Sonic goes six. Silver door glitch. Let me see, where is... I don't want to look at a glitch video, I want to see the fucking glitch with the door. Maybe if I go to Reddit. Reddit, the source of all big brain moves, right? Nope, just a bunch of people talking about Game Grumps. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here's a video of it. Now, let me see how this guy fucking does it. Oh, I see. I see. There you go. So, I was doing it. All right. So instead of the corner, you gotta do it, like, in the middle. So... Oh, come on. Come on now. Calm down. You gotta get silver here. You gotta get up there. And kinda jump through it. I don't even know. I think I'm still on the other side, right? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, the box doesn't rotate through. You have to, like, jump through it. There's, like, a little area up here that you can clip through but the problem is that the camera freaks out so you might end up going the wrong direction but the box because it's basically has to do with like silver's kind of like bowing down animation that he does because it puts him through it a little bit and you can like jump and clip through Look at this shit. Look at this game. Look at this. Look at this. What the fuck is that? But the problem is that whenever you get a bit of collision, right up, oh, see? Right there. That's what you're looking for. That little gap that we just saw. You're looking for that. Ah, damn it. You're trying to get him inside there. trying to get him in there so he can kind of jump through and not die but I've never done it and I know a bunch of other people damn it did it with like no fucking problem 
And I'm, the, I'm not even talking about speedrunners. I'm talking about just like regular ass motherfuckers I know. Uh, Silver! Come on! I'll get this. I'll get this if it's the last thing I fucking do. Come on! Damn it, the camera's not working with me here. And then sometimes Silver doesn't even want to jump. That's the worst part about it. You're supposed to... Come on, Silver. I need you. Come on. <laughs> if it was the last thing I do, and it was. Oh, fuck. I feel... God damn it. Every time the camera wigs out like that, I feel like I'm making it through, right? Come on, Silver, get in there. Get in there. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it with some panaz, you know? God damn it. Maybe if I had more boxes here. Come on, Silver. Get your fucking porcupine head in there. There we go! Give me that! No! More box. No, I don't think the box will help. Ah! It's the camera angle. It's definitely the camera angle that's fucking me up because it makes me... It's making me go backwards. You go through! Yeah! you damn right, it was great. It was amazing. Fuck your puzzle. It's amazing, I love this game. <laughs> What's my ranking? C? C for cool. Of course it took too long. If I fucking knew how to do it to begin with, it would have been better. <laughs> but yeah. That's how you get through that, because fuck, it, it probably would have took longer to do that goddamn ball puzzle. I think that's like the only like speedrunning glitch that I know of, I guess. Technically speedrunning glitch, I guess. But I didn't even learn of it through like a speedrun or anything. I don't watch speedruns. Not that I don't have anything against them. I just don't, you know. I just don't like them. <laughs> Yeah, maybe because we went to the fucking desert. <gasps> it's a blue hedgehog. Is that bestiality? I can't stand for that shit. I've been looking for you. You were the ablest The fucking sound effect. The Jetson sound effect. Who are you? My name is Silver. For the future of the world, I will destroy you. And then Elise cowers in fear. So, fun thing for this, is you may think, well now that I'm playing as Silver, I'll have all the power in the world against, against Sonic. The answer to that is wrong, because you can't free Sonic. And Sonic will chase after you like he's the goddamn Terminator. And he'll homing attack the shit out of you, so. Kinda sucks. So what you're supposed to do is just grab, like, as much chairs and shit and just throw it at them. Just really just, just like... Here I come. Gotcha. Ow! Alright, give me a moment, Sonic. You bitch. Here I come. What? Now we'll <laughs> Here I come. Don't worry about me, Sonic. Ow! Here I come. What? What? Done. It's no use! Take this! One ring. One ring to rule them all. You did it. You kicked Sonic's ass. And it's an A rank. Fuck yourself. I guess it's because I only have one ring on me, but you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you, game. 
Now I take the human female. Oh no, he can keep that shit. And throw it in the trash. I'll just take Amy. I'll be happy with that. Honestly, you know, if, I mean, Silver's got Blaze, so. He wins. Honestly, if you put Amy or fucking uh, Elise in front of me, I'll still take Amy. Elise is just a fucking mutant. Is this a joke? How could someone like you cause the destruction of our Oh no, she's getting kidnapped and the robot is super loud but nobody ever notices it. For the sake of the future, the Iblis trigger must be destroyed. Police? Wait! Don't you dare turn your back on me! It's time I finally put an end to this! Stop! Amy? Get out of my way, Amy. This is my mission. I really like how Silver says that. He says it like they're breaking up or something. He's like, get out of my way, Amy. I will hit you. Thanks, Amy. I appreciate it. You know, I find it weird that, like, Silver noticed Amy before Amy... I mean, my bad. Silver noticed Sonic before Amy noticed Sonic. You think the moment he would, like, walk away and be like, huh, what's that? She would go like, oh my god, it's Sonic. <laughs> You're not what meeting you my parents. For with Sonic? Were you planning to kill him? Yeah? I was gonna murder him. He's responsible for destroying my world. That's crazy. Sonic would never do that. That's a lie. It's true. In the near future, his actions will cause the devastation of my world. So I no. must I don't believe it. Even if that was true. If I had to choose between the world and Sonic, I would choose Sonic. Okay, you're just stupid now. You're just being unreasonable. You're just being unreasonable. <laughs> He's so depressed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that makes me laugh. He's like, oh, nobody loves me. <laughs> Get out of here, Amy, or I'm moving out. Exactly. And now he's just sitting there. What would be awesome if he's just like had like a peanut butter jelly sandwich or like a fucking ice cream or something. So this is where you are. I've been looking for you. I was in the desert, Blaze. It was very sandy. Well, uh, Blaze? To kill someone to save the world. Is that really the right thing to do? Yes. It's called war, Silver. You're so naive. Whether it's right or wrong, I can't really say. I say it's right. But what I do know is... If we don't take this chance, the future will remain exactly as it is. You're really not helping, Blaze. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but what I do know is that I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> like what? Let's sneak into Eggman's base. Hello, Evil darkness, man. my old friend. <laughs> so, what's really funny here is that fucking Silver goes, "Oh, we'll just head to Eggman's base. Maybe we'll learn something new." Silver doesn't know that Eggman even fucking exists at this point. How? Eggman has not come up not once. When he met Mephilus, Mephilus says, this is my hideout. Here's my data. He didn't say, here's Eggman's data. So, how the fuck do you know about Eggman? What? <laughs> you make no sense. He's also stupid like Knuckles. <laughs> Silver's not, Silver's not as stupid as Knuckles. He's just kind of, what's where I'm looking for? I guess ignorant? <laughs> But anyways, here's the shock bracelet. This one is more, this one's kind of useful. I use it sometimes. So, you can either run up to enemies and smack them like this, you know, hit them with your pit pan. Or, you can do this, which is a more of an aerial of effect, and it has a wider range than it actually looks like. So that's nice. 
I don't like how Blaze runs because it looks like she's going absolutely nowhere. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess not. I guess not ignorant. I guess it would just be naive, right? Gullible. He is kind of gullible. Oh no, we have to head to Eggman's secret base. How will I ever, ever unlock his secret base? Oh, come on, Silver. You did it. Congratulations. Amazing. <laughs> you can destroy Salt Lake City with it. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, this is locked. i never seen that locked before. That's cool. Welcome to White Acropolis. I can never get enough of the soundtrack. I love it. I love White Acropolis. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Hmm. You taught you. <laughs> well, I for one love jazz. Utah jazz? Not sure about it. But jazz in general? Love it. Oh my god. It gets play as Blaze. I'm so happy. I love this fucking soundtrack so much. How can you not like this soundtrack? It's beautiful. Utah Jazz is very different. Is it... Is it, like, closer to Acid Jazz? What the fuck do you even do in Utah? <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I got something in my fucking... Oh my god. <coughs> oh! What the hell? Take a drink of water. I feel like I got fucking like... You know when you got something in your throat and it itches? It's an NBA team that moved from New Orleans to Utah. And they just kept the name. Oh, really? See, I don't know much about sports. I'm not a sports guy. Can I just walk through here? I wonder. No, I can't. Alright, cool. Guess I gotta look for a switch. Which would be... Where again? Maybe over here. Where are you, Switch? Oh, damn it. And I'm not talking about Nintendo Switch, I'm talking about a Switch. Okay, this leads back up here. <laughs> Hydrate, bro. It's not hydrating, it's just that I got something in my throat and I don't know how the fuck it got there, to be honest. It's like, uh, like imagine you're in, like you're in school and you're in the middle of class and then you get like an itch in your throat and you're just holding it in because you don't want to look like that weird person coughing. <laughs> just killing yourself on the inside. Uh, <laughs> looking for the switch. <laughs> Head to GameStop. GameStop would be the last place to have a switch. GameStop doesn't have anything. I recently went to a GameStop, and there was literally oh my god, it was the most depressing thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life. It was just one dude working there, and like there was just nothing, like. Barely any games anyone cared about. There was new releases. Uh, there wasn't even like older games or anything like that. And there's just a bunch of t-shirts and fucking stupid like tchotchke shit. <laughs> and it was just so sad to look at. And all I all I bought there was a fucking uh, pro controller for my Switch. That's it. Yes, Blaze, I, I get it. Get the enemies, yes. There you go. Oh, forgot you. There you go. Run straight into a boxed room. Trying to press the hot girl in geometry by destroying my throat. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> I don't know what the fuck happened. I didn't even, like, eat anything or nothing. I just breathe in. Suddenly, there's like something in my throat. Where is the entrance to Eggman's base? How do you even know that? Oh my fucking god! I I almost died right then and there. Holy shit!
There you go. Give his best friend a hug. Oh my fucking god. Come on. Really? Sometimes he just doesn't want to jump. He literally just walked off the edge. Ow. Didn't even know I had a missile in my hand. Give me a moment. There you go. Ah, I wanted to land on that. I don't need that spring. Fuck your spring. I got a box. There you go. Second use is for the win. Love how slow the missiles are. Exactly. My Cheerio! What the hell, guys? Oh, come on! Good thing the rock appears back. Thank you. What am I even doing? I love how the soundtrack goes into like this alien sci-fi shit. <laughs> For like, a good minute. Now... Oh, I gotta destroy the searchlight. Forgot- oh, Well, good job, boxes. Thank you. Thank you. No, I really- I really appreciate that. I'm getting missiles thrown my way, right? There- there's one. Missile wasn't enough to- Ow! Wasn't enough to destroy the searchlight. Take two. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god. Fuck this searchlight. Can I destroy the- I think I can just destroy the pillar, right? I could have sworn there was like a thing you can do. Like have the pillar crumble. Damn it. What's under here? Alright, searchlight. I can't break that? Are you kidding me? Oh no, it's robots, what- ow. <laughs> Whatever should I do? Bright ass fucking searchlight, oh my god. It's like natural camouflage. Ow. <laughs> it's vibranium. Exactly. You. There you go. Just fall apart. Come on, where's my invincibility frame? Okay, well that was just goofy. Oh, what the fuck? I pressed the hover button and Silver didn't even want to do it. I'm d again? What the hell? Silver, what's going on with you? Go give your friend a hug. Alright. I think there's an extra life in there. Like in that little cave over there. That the ice wall keeps popping in and out of. Where's the box? Give me a box. I need your fucking bounce pad. Silver wants better pay. Well, fuck it. Silver's not gonna get better pay. He doesn't deserve it. Let me deal with you guys, because... Get on my nerves. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm... I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to break that, right? There we go! We, what the fuck was the problem before? Give me this rock. Oh, come on, rock. Don't get stuck on the wall. Alright. 
let's see. Just ignore the searchlight. I'll take this rock with me. Give me some height. There we go. It's not lasers over there, is there? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, come on! You weren't supposed to do that, Silver. Oh, I just a bounce pad. Okay. Maybe he should pick himself up <laughs> by his silver bootstraps. Oh. Are these even boots he's wearing? I guess they're boots. They're kind of like rain boots. Oh my god. Pick up the fucking enemy. Thank you, Silver. God damn it. It's no use. Take this! Well, that was entertaining. Can I can't pick up the snowball. Are you serious? I just want to do that. That looked fun. <gasps> Spike ball almost hit me. <laughs> Take this. Oh, man. Really? Unharmed? I think not. Get over there. Where you belong. Can I float over this? I don't think I can. Well, can I just get up here? There you go. Fuck you, game. You can't tell me what I can and can't do. I believe one of these has like a bounce pad under it or some shit. See. Can't remember who was in Heroes. Hmm. Uh, it was Team Sonic, so... Fuck it. Well, I say Team Sonic, I think it was just called Team Light and then Team Dark, so consisting of... Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, uh, Team Dark was Rude, Shadow, uh, E-130 Omega, or whatever the fuck. Who said that line? Hmm. I don't... I don't know. I don't... I don't even remember that line. I can't even say if it was Team Chaotix or not. Because when Team Chaotix does their fucking special, right... All I remember is just hearing Charmy fucking yell, B B B, and I'm like, shut the. F I'm like, God damn it, Charmy. I hate you. I hate Charmy. <laughs> Did you guys know that Charmy is actually mentally, <laughs> uh, mentally, uh, uh, not there completely? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what the deal was with Charmy. Either he got hit on his head or something, or fucking. Or, like, some shit from the comics. I don't remember. Like, he's basically... He's... I think his official age is fucking... His official age in the comics was, like, 16 or 17 or 15 or something. But they wanted to de-age him for a hero, so... In the hero's manual, it says he's, like, 9 or 8 years old. But in the comics, they de-aged him by making him mentally retarded. Right? Right? So, like, he's, like, 15 or 16 or something, but he has the mind of an 8 or 9-year-old, and I forgot what it was that happened. <laughs> it was just... It was stupid. Charmy gets the worst of it a lot, right? But Charmy sucks anyway, so who cares? Like, in the Sonic comics or whatever, Charmy's whole entire family is dead, right? His whole entire family, his girlfriend, his best friend, his whole entire race, dead. Right? Fucking, uh... His best friend died because they did LSD or whatever at, like, a carnival or some shit. <laughs> and I forgot- I forgot what else was it. <laughs> what else Charmy fucking did or whatever. Oh, Charmy's also, like, a prince, apparently. But I guess he's a prince of nothing now. Kind of like Vegeta. <laughs> That's sad. Oh, don't be sad. It's fucking Charmy. He was annoying before all the shit happened. The only reason it happened was because they wanted to de-age him for Sonic Heroes, but it was already listed as him as being fucking 16 or 17 or whatever the hell. Looks like we've arrived a little too late. So don't be fooled. Charmy is not a child. What? Oh no! Oh no, it's a boss fight.
It's the Egg Genesis. But it still doesn't do what Nintendo don't. I don't fucking know. I don't care. <laughs> I tried to make a joke, couldn't. I don't know much about the Genesis. I just know that it has video games. Video games are fun. Doesn't Eggman have like a Genesis in his fucking like little cockpit thing that he got? So, as Silver, you will grab shit and then the egg thingy will lower itself and then you'll throw shit at it. Come on, give me the boxes. There you go. And that's how you beat a Genesis. You just... Oh, come on. Get the fucking enemies. There you go. Stop hitting the enemies. Grab them, Silver. Thank you. For some reason, you can't grab the missiles. I don't know. I don't know why. There you go. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I was able to be a uh, Egg Genesis the way I did as fucking Sonic, because technically these uh, things on the side are still like active, because they're supposed to be for silver. So maybe that's why. Oh shit. I'm gonna pick up some robots. There we go. Come on, lower. Lower yourself. Lower your guard. Look at all the shit I got. Good job, Silver. Amazing. Only like two of those hit. Great. Did that do anything? I didn't even look at the health bar. Ah, oh, come on, Silver. Can you throw higher? I'll take these boxes. Imagine defeating a robot with just, like, nothing but boxes. It's kind of crazy. Alright, well, good job. Good aim, Silver. You only get the best from you. Yeah, let's finish this. Only halfway there. Jesus. It's gonna take forever. The boxes look sturdy. They don't. These are the weakest looking boxes ever. Alright, let me just get up under there. That's good damage. Look at that. Oh, come on, Silver. Where are you throwing that box at? You know, it's really interesting that Silver's the slowest hedgehog. Ow. And he can still outrun missiles. Maybe you should rethink your missile plan. Just saying. There we go. Oh, I'll take that. You want to throw any more ammunition in my way? Uh-oh. There we go. Good job. Thanks for helping, Blaze. Couldn't have done it without you. Silver. She was there for more support. Oh, shit. Come on, man. There you go. Good job, Blaze. She seems really enthusiastic. She doesn't even have a fucking pose animation. Actually, that's a lie. She did have one earlier. We had, like, a whole fucking... Look at her little shuffle she's doing. I love Blaze. She's great. 
Why don't they use her more? Just make just make a game of fucking Cream, Amy, and Blaze. I'll take it. <laughs> that is her pose. <laughs> she's not even looking at me. Because she's disgusted. She's been reduced to a sidekick character after being the main character of her own fucking games. And got instantly rebooted too. Oh my fucking god. Imagine being rebooted from a princess to a fucking sidekick character. She doesn't even have that many lines in this game. That's a chaos emerald. Yes, I know what it is, Blaze. We used it to get here. Actually, we didn't use it to get here. Never mind. This gem can transform your thoughts into power. Collect seven, and a miracle's supposed to happen. Gotta head out. Take care. Keep it as a lucky charm. <laughs> This game's ass. It is ass. It game's ass, but it's my ass. And I love my ass. So, what's really interesting is that they do know what a fucking Chaos Emerald is, but earlier, for some reason, they thought that time travel was impossible. Also, Amy manages to save uh, Elise, or whatever. Way to go, Elise. How the fuck did Elise even escape? There's nothing that shows me that she's resourceful in any way possible. And they just escaped. Okay. Thank you so much for rescuing me. I am so grateful. I'm Amy. Amy Rose. My name is Elise. Are you okay, Amy? Yes, yeah, she is human. Elise? Wait, you're not Elise, the Princess of Soliana, are you? I'll bet someone's already on their way to rescue you. Um, yes. But someone I know said to me, Nothing starts until you take action. So I decided to heed his advice. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have some feelings for this person, would you? What? No. Okay. Please say no. It's not okay, Amy. It's not okay. Well, he's a hedgehog. What? <laughs> That's so cute. Come on, there's no need to be shy. Look, you're a princess and you're super cute. That guy's the lucky one. I'm not sure about that last part, Amy. I wish us both luck. Defeat the pursuers and escort Elise. Why do I have to escort her? She's already in the fucking city of Soliana. Oh my god. If we're already in Soliana, where the fuck are the guards? Also, you tell me they just walked off the ship? Oh god. Gotta play as Amy. There you go. Pico Hammer. This is her only means of attack, too. You gotta get, like, real close. At least it's like a one hit, though. So. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, damn it! Well, at least they paralyzed themselves. I'll hit them. Come on. Come on, Amy. Ow. Get my Cheerios. I need them. She doesn't have- let me just check. Let me just double check. She doesn't have like an aerial attack, right? She doesn't even have her like Pico Hammer spin from fucking Adventure. Come on. Oh, 
now he has a shield. Ow! There we go. Get my Cheerio. That's what I'm thinking, Amy. I don't like how the rings run away from me. Excuse me, Mr. Robot. There you go. We did it. I'm not sure about that one, Amy. I'm not sure about that one, Chief. Uh, uh, God. Somehow, Amy managed to rescue Elise from the ship, and they got off the ship. I'm assuming the ship was in the air. How they got off, we don't know. They're back in the city, but yet somehow we still have to defeat the pursuers. Oh, <laughs> thanks for the follow. I didn't. Ah, oh, damn. I'm sorry, I didn't get. I didn't catch the name. But thank you. I appreciate it. Helps a lot. Helps more than you know. Finally, I've been waiting so patiently for you to return, princess. So you're telling me there's a time where. When Sonic was off doing whatever, I think, oh my god. When Sonic was off doing whatever, she managed to get captured again. She managed to get captured, escape, and get captured again. Oh, hey, Mephilus. Mephilus. It's not weird that you're just standing in the middle of the road looking all evil and shit. Tell me. <laughs> Hi, is how's it going? Trigger? Hope you're having a good day. Why do you want to destroy the world? How do you trust why this guy? To you? What do you mean, why does it matter to me? You asked me to kill a guy. Unless you complete your task, your future will remain the same. For you know, Mephilus, it would mean a lot to me if you looked at me and we talked. There you go. There you go. Now you're it's looking at me. At the terminal station. It's now or never if you want this. Did he just twirl away? Did he just spin? Thanks for the thanks for the fucking riveting conversation, Blaze. You really helped. God damn it! What the fuck? What is the writing in this game? And how did? God damn it! <laughs> Whatever. Guess we gotta head to the train station now to go find Sonic. I think that's what we're doing. We're gonna go kill him again. Or do whatever. I don't fucking know. Alright. Let's see. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can, um... Get some upgrades first. I don't even know if we have enough money for upgrades. I think we need an upgrade to even get there, right? We need, like, a... Like, an aerial dash or some shit? Let's see. What do we have here? Ah, oh, come on. Welcome. Heart of Wind. Press X button twice. Quickly perform teleport dash. Yes. That's what we need. Thank you for your business. That's what we need. And I believe we only use this ability once. And that's literally just here. <laughs> that's literally just here to like squeeze through like a tiny gap or some shit. It's kind of like Sonic's slide ability, I guess. Let me think about it. Why is there a box in the middle of the road? God. I wish I could play as Blaze. <laughs> I just want to play as Blaze. Oh. Is there a cutscene? Get into the station. I don't remember this. Do I have to fight robots? Is that, is that what's going on? Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, I have to sneak my way through? 
and the frame rate is super low. Why do I gotta sneak my way through? I don't... I don't even remember this shit. Fuck it. I'm not even gonna think about it. Stealth. Fucking even- Oh! <laughs> even snake. Oh! Damn it! There you go. Even Snake would be proud of me. I did- I did it. Great. I'm a fucking master. That was- that was fucking stupid. And I got an A rank. I got an A rank. What the fuck do I need to do to get S rank for that? I mean, that was pretty fast. Well, that was useless. <laughs> it's no use. This will end it. it will end my pain and torture. It took all that time to load in like a couple of guards and barrels. Also, if they if they can have this many guards to guard the fucking train station, where were the guards to help Elise? What the fuck is Soliana? They're almost as incompetent as the fucking Piantas, but at least the Piantas try to do something in fucking Mario Sunshine. At least they took Mario to court and say he did it. They tried, I guess, maybe. Oh, what the fuck? Now, I don't have to chase a train or anything, right? I don't think so. I think that's only Sonic's stuff. So I think I take my time? There we go. Excuse me, robots. I have business to attend to, and you're not a part of it. There we go. All right. I mean, fuck your weight. Fuck your counterbalance weight shit. I can just float over with a goddamn box. I think I can at least. Right? Just never mind the missiles. There you go. Fuck your counterweight. Well, I tried. I tried to go for the extra life. Not worth it. Alright, let's see. Damn it. Give me your missiles. I'll borrow these. Thank you. Checkpoint. Don't forget about that. Oh, I missed one. I like the music that's in here. I'm going to say that throughout this whole entire game. I just love the music. Ow. Bullets hurt. That's not fun. Oh, am I even high enough? Okay, there you go. Thought I wasn't even gonna make that. Frame rate. It's beautiful. Oh, you don't say. I wouldn't think you'd be able to grab lasers with your fucking psychokinesis or whatever the hell. Where's your health bar? Am I even doing damage to you? I am. Not doing that much. <laughs> I like how it fucking fell over. That's awesome. 
Sometimes ragdoll is just all you need to put a smile on your face. Oh shit. What the hell just happened? Excuse me, trains. Don't mind me. Just coming on through. Just a hedgehog taking a st stroll on the railway. There you go. I'm just going to get on this side. Oh, it's, ex it's invisible. Great. Can't attack things you can't see. Who said that, Silver? Just fucking electrocute that shit. There you go. Oh, I did it for a goddamn metal. I didn't even have to fight it. Oh, hit the jump pad. There you go. Excuse me. I'll take these. Well, that was a pretty easy level. That was the easiest level in this whole entire fucking campaign. Holy shit. At least I didn't sit there and spend fucking five minutes on trying to clip through a door. <laughs> five minutes is being generous. It was more like, it's more like 15. I got a B for that? I was blazing through that damn thing. I guess I didn't kill enough enemies. Maybe that's why. Oh, forgot. Gotta save my progress. You don't want to have to redo any of that. That one was actually kind of fun. That one was surprisingly actually kind of fun. I wouldn't mind doing that level again. I had no problem with that. I liked it. Game's still bad, though. I knew it! Oh, I knew you'd return. You had to. You again. This time, there will be no more interruptions! The Iblis Trigger must die! Son. That was the latest dodge I've ever seen in my life. Just snap his neck. Just snap- you, you have him in the hole. Just use your- just force choke him. Oh my god. You got kidnapped again! Oh no! An interruption! Mephilus, why did you dye your hair? And you have a mouth now! I so wanted to punch Sonic in the face for just smiling at me. I don't know why. Just... Just the way he looked. Just wanted to... Just deck him. I won't hold back. Here I come. All right, calm down, Shadow. I just met you. You ain't gotta fucking. You ain't gotta yell at me. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know why you're doing this. Defeat Shadow. All right. Oh shit. Where is he? Where the fuck is he even? Did he load in? I hear him. What? He's invisible! Oh no, he's down there. <laughs> I got so scared. Alright, where the hell are you, Shadow? What the fuck? Where are you? You're below me. Bad Edgy the Hedgy. How dare you? Use your fucking chaos spear on me. I hear him skating around. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Trying to clip through. He's trying to go through the train. I saw him. Where'd he go? Where the fuck? I guess I'll jump over then. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh! 
Got him. Did he jump over? He tried to fucking... Try to hit me with a goddamn homing dash. He's faster than me too, so he can definitely get some distance. Ow! Look at this fucking... Alright, calm down, Shadow. I forgot I have this teleport shit. Oh, come on. You take a lot of damage. Come on, teleport! What are you doing? Grab these barrels. Where the hell are you, Shadow? There you are. Oh, come on, train. Don't do this to me. Where is he? My teleport doesn't work. I don't know why. Where are you at, Shadow? I hear you. Are you on the other side of the train? Where the hell? Maybe he's over here? Oh, see him. Oh, he went in chaos mode or whatever the fuck it is. I forgot he can do that in this game. Uh-oh. Come on, Shadow. Bring it on, bitch. Doing a lot of damage to him. Fuck this teleport ability. It's not even working. Ow! Where you at? You jump across or are you still stuck over there? Yep, he's stuck again. Of course he's stuck again. Oh, I what the hell? Oh damn it. Well that was clutch. <laughs> I almost lost my damn Cheerio. I almost died there. That's a C? Come on. It's not my fault he has, like, fucking invincibility frames, like, nearly every goddamn time. Hmm. I guess it's Sonic time again. It is in the schedule. Also, welcome back. Hope everything's going wonderful for you. <laughs> this is the kick in the back of head. The schedule sucks. You want anime thoughts? That will come. Don't bother. With the Chaos Emerald's power, I control time and space. You can't break free. I won't give up. It all depends on me. Can't lose. Not when I'm so close. Oh, I see that you have a magical, uh, magical ring pop too. Chaos, chaos control. Huh? You induce chaos control. Yes, anyone can do it, Shadow. God damn it! I'll change the past and save the world. So, uh, you want to jump through this portal or not? Mepolis isn't trying to help you create a better future. He's trying to eliminate the past. That's weird, Mephiles. Why would you tell me that? What are you talking about? To discover what happened, it seems we must see what took place ten years ago. Follow me if you want the truth. And conveniently, this portal that we randomly created takes takes us to ten years ago. Conveniently. 
How do I know that? I don't know. It's just, it looks like a 10 year portal, don't it? And now we have money and animation. What the fuck is wrong with his face? <laughs> oh no! An explosion happened. And somehow all the other scientists burnt up, but he's okay. Is that plain? It's Iblis. And the black shadow is the original Mephilus. That's Mephilus. They're escaping. We'll have to split up. I'll pursue Mephilus. Okay, then leave Iblis to me. How are you alive? Seal it with this. Hurry. How are your body parts not like all over the room? Unscathed. <laughs> Through the power of bullshit. Anyways. We're in the aquatic base. We're in the aquatic base. What the fuck? I thought the aquatic base was like Eggman's place. Isn't this where we like hopped on the ship last time? A laboratory like this under Soliana? Why oh, you sound so surprised? A laboratory like this under Soliana? You just came from like Eggman's base like not too long ago. Take these magical orb balls or whatever the fuck these are. I don't know what the hell these are. Are they liquid? Are they solid? Who knows? Not me. Oh my god, a shadow! So for the first time we get to play a shadow. Shadow controls like Sonic, but better. Also, he has this thing called Chaos Spear. You do that, it shoots things, but it only dazes enemies, I think. I don't think you damage them with it. Let me try. Can I hurt you? Yeah, it only dazes them. Now, Shadow also has martial arts things, so you just mash X and he does that. And, you know, that's that. Also, unlike all the other characters, he doesn't start with his energy gauge fill. You gotta work up to it. And then when it's filled, I think you can do, like, chaos control or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't remember. On oh, no, those shadows, shadow controls way better than the Sonic, and I like it. Ironically, Sonic controls the worst in the Sonic game. Who would have thought? Not this guy. Not this guy right here. There we go. That's a lot of Shadow. There's always strength in numbers. And now we're back to Silver. You thought you had fun? Well, think again. Fun doesn't exist. It never has and it never will. Oh. What was the point of that? Answer. There was none. Excuse me? Come on. There we go. Used to you guys. Come 
Come on, throw it at me. Oh, oh no, we're going backwards. I thought it was gonna stop when we got there. Really? I threw it at it and it did nothing? Just kinda like bounced off of him? That's cool. That's cool. Let me get off this fucking thing. There we go. Can I paralyze you? I can. Just blow you up. See, now if I can do that to big enemies like that, how come Silver couldn't do it to Zonic? In like two seconds. Just snap his neck. Just like crumble him. Like a piece of paper. Break him with your mind. Oh no, we get introduced to Mephilus enemies. They're like Iblis enemies, but purple. And maybe stronger? I'm not sure. I don't know. They all die. They all go down the same. Who cares? What was the... Oh. I had to unlock the fucking laser grid. I was so confused. I was like, what was the point of that? Alright. Excuse me, coming through. Ow! Um, thought I was just gonna jump over that. Okay, never mind. There we go. Open says me. Grab these boxes. Really? All those boxes missed? That's cool. Oh, now that blocks. Oh, come on. There we go. Fall to pieces. <laughs> I like the way he ragdolls. Switch on. Where the hell do I go from here? I will take that. No problem. Is this going the right way? Yes? No? Okay. I guess I can just jump on down then? Oh, this is new. Well, not new, but new for me, I guess. Oh, shit. Where's the other lasers? Okay, they're there. Welcome to a Sonic game where you go slow. Isn't this what you wanted? See, I for one always thought- <gasps> Fuck this! No! Damn it. Oh my god, do I want to become famous? Guys, head to bigfollows.com, become Twitch famous, it's great- oh fuck. I think that was my third death this whole entire run. Third or fourth? Forgot. Wasn't really counting. Oh, shit. At least we got this awesome ass music to keep us company. Am I right? Come on. Come on, you can do it. Just go for it. Fuck it. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> really? I didn't hit the damn bird? Uh, give, give me the bird. Give me the bird. There you go. 
Come on, bigfiles.com. Famous. He said Emma Watson just texted me. Emma Watson is... Oh, my God. Emma Watson is like... I have, I have such a... I've always had a crush on Emma Watson ever since I was a kid. But, man, let's be honest. She has not changed at all. It's kind of weird. Like, she looks legit the same. Just, like, taller. You know, usually when people get older, they, like, you know, they change. She didn't. <laughs> Defeated all my enemies because I threw balls in their face. It's the only way to do it. What? Okay, I guess that was the end of the stage. <laughs> that was weird. And now we're loading yet again. That was weird. <laughs> Let's see. I'll take that. Thank you. Give me that. Thank you. Beautiful. Alright, what the hell am I doing here? Oh, come on. Aim. Aim, Silver, please. Oh, I grabbed one of them. That's cool. I was hoping that could reach. What what killed it? Okay, well, that was interesting. Oh. Let me time this correctly. I don't want to get hit by lasers. There we go. Go on through. No problem. No problem. No problem. Come on, lasers. Come on, lasers. Damn it. Was there a switch or something? Maybe there's a switch that I just decided to ignore. Most likely. Oh, yeah, there it is. Where'd the ball go? Where'd the ball go? Are you kidding me? I gotta go all the way back? Excuse me? There's no way I can make that over there, can I? Ow! Jackass? Can I grab, like, the... Wherever the hell there is they're shooting at me? I can. I think I, I think I made myself stuck. Hmm. Maybe I can, maybe I can glitch this. Do it my way, damn it. Oh, there's the ball. It's over there. What the hell is it doing over there for? Do 
Do I have anything to throw over there? I don't think so. I mean, I could just jump over there. I don't, I don't think I need the ball, do I? Nah, fuck it. Might as well use it. Might as well use this stupid thing. I'll just time it out. I'll wait for it. I could just go, but I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. There you go. And you're done. Come on, frame rate, work with me. Those enemies look like they're guarding that door. Let's start by getting rid of them. Oh, you think? You think, Silver? Think getting rid of them will help? I was just gonna let them be there, you know? Was that all of them? Oh no, one guy left. Oh, that didn't reach you? Damn it. Stop. Don't do it. There you go. What door were they guarding? Oh, shit. You guys shouldn't be too difficult. Just a little bit of that. Beautiful. Uh, how do I get through here? Oh, I guess I just jump over and under and over. Shit. Which one of you bastards hit me? Oh, shit. Let's not get too crazy now. I just blew myself up. That was great. I wish I could blow myself up <laughs> like Chiaotzu. Oh, look at that. We're done. Fucking finally. Great. Now give me the worst rank possible. Oh, a B? Eh, I guess. <laughs> Fuck Chiaotzu. Chaozu's a freak. What is Chaozu? He's not an alien, is he? I don't think they ever said... They never said what Chaozu was. And Krillin? Ah, oh, man. Why Krillin? Krillin's the strongest human. Confirmed. That's... That's really sad. <laughs> what do you think about it? You would think that Tien would be the strongest human, but he's not. Krillin is. Guess I'm up at 2 a.m. watching Sonic the Hedgehog. Here we are again. I have my duty. This living flame has been entrusted to the royal family. Fuck the royal family. I'm about to kill it. Quick, seal this destructive god into my daughter. I've, I've learned this from Naruto. It worked out well there. This will never come back to hurt anyone. Ever.
I have nothing to say here. <laughs> it's just very quiet and slow. Can you take her to a safe place? No. No, I can't take her to a safe place. You know, my the real question is, this man apparently uh, I'm guessing he dies from his injuries, which he apparently has none. But how the fuck did he get here? <laughs> you saw all the shit I had to go through? Oh yeah, by the way, we also learned that uh, fucking apparently if Elise cries, she unleashes the God of Destruction upon the world and the world gets engulfed in flames. So you're telling me that this fucking child who loses her father, right? Apparently... Manages not to cry. And then he dies from nothing. I think it's just an excuse to for him not to be a father no more, to be honest. I mean, I would do the same thing. Fucking the cool one, at least to be their daughter. She's fucking terrible. Don't cry, Elise. Now I shall die. <sighs> How we got cam ribs of Congress of Godzilla? We ain't even got cam ribs of nobody. <laughs> Did you I don't do know. It? Yes. He had a shortcut that he forgot to tell me about. Fuck that guy. The flames are properly so, it's done. you know what's really funny here for me? Silver just sat there and heard, Don't cry, at least. If you cry, the world will be destroyed. So now he knows what the Iblish trigger is, right? So what he does is he just leaves her here <laughs> by herself. So I'm assuming when she wakes up, she goes, Daddy, where are you? <laughs> but she doesn't cry for some reason. Also, Shadow leads fucking the evil spirit of Mephilus here, too, for some reason. Yes. Oh, fucking love. I already know what becomes of it in the future. And you can stop that future right now. But you won't. Yes, of course. Shadow, I'm pretty sure nothing different would happen if you were to just take Mephilus right now. Hey, It's not like anyone does anything with it. Don't cry, Elise. You're an orphan now. He's dead. You won't need to worry about him no more. And this is why Elise has the blue crystal... Crystal? <laughs> the blue fucking... What are these goddamn called? Chaos crystals. Chaos crystal? No. Chaos emerald. Emerald. There you go. I forgot about it already. Fuck this game. This is why she has the blue chaos emerald in the beginning. She throws it towards Sonic. It's a lucky charm. Why did Silver sound like a woman? Was that the same voice actor? <laughs> Don't cry, Elise. Remember, if you cry, the world will burn. The fucking stupidest plot line ever. Oh, hey, Blaze. How did you know I'd be here? Blaze, what did you see? How'd you even know I? How'd you even know I go to the past? The trigger. Wasn't Sonic the Hedgehog? I see. I am my own man. My minions are dangerous. They're full of their enemies. They're quite noisy. I thought I saw some dark. Yes, I heard that the princess here left for Dr. Eggman's base in response to his earlier threat. Blaze doesn't even question the fact that Silver just appeared out of nowhere. Of course not, because she knew where he would be <laughs> for some reason. If I was Blaze, I would've been like, hey, Silver, where'd you go? He's like, oh yeah, so I saw the birth of Iblis. Oh, did you kill it? No. You did what now? <laughs> oh, trust me. This game is not storyboarded well. Or animated. Or gameplay tested. Oh, it was tested. This game... 
this game, I can't even say the main reason it's bad, but one of the biggest factors that it's bad is that it was heavily rushed. Right? This is like one of the biggest examples of a rush job until Cyberpunk came along, right? Like before that, there were other games that got rushed, but you know, they they weren't still as bad as Sonic 06. Cyberpunk now fucking is the king of that shit, so. You know, that's how life is. So what the hell do I gotta do right now? What the fuck did Silver tell me to do? I forgot, oh, oh no. Is this the one where I gotta protect this bitch or some shit? <sighs> Don't think they should have polished this mess. I mean, here's the thing, Blaze controls pretty well, right? She's actually really fun to play as, and the level design of Sonic 06 isn't that bad. It's actually, uh, at least for Sonic stages, maybe not for Silver or Shadow, but at least for Sonic stages, there's actually a, a good amount of routes to take, right? They're out, of, they're out of the ways, right? But, you know, it's pretty good level design, but fuck, the game just sucks, man. <laughs> For the next mission, if you run all the way back, the girl will run to the end on her own because enemies won't spawn. Oh. I'm sorry, but can you take Anna somewhere safe? Sure. Protect Anna. She knows the secrets. She knows the Krabby Patty formula. Gotta save that. So what do you mean if I run all the way back? Like, if I just don't follow her? Or if I just, like, go to the destination? Oh. I don't want to know the secret behind... Kill her! <laughs> Knows the secret behind Sonic DeviantArt. Kill her! No one needs to know that. Put her out her misery. Gotta go all the way to the west towards Wave Ocean. Really? Does the mission end when she gets there or when I get there? I'm guessing the mission ends when she'll get there. Okay, well, let's try it. Oh, we can't. There's an invisible wall. There's an invisible wall. Yep. I'm gonna try and, uh... Fuck. Did that enemy spawn? Where is it? I'm gonna try not to... Not to... Spawn any. I'm just gonna take him over here and kill him. And I'm gonna let her run. Is that one enemy over there? No, that's just a pillar. I think she should be fine, right? Kill the first two and just stay on the wall? Okay, yeah. So, uh, how's everybody's day? How's it going? Is this, uh... Everybody had a fine Easter? Right? I did nothing for Easter. Absolutely nothing. I didn't even have, like, dinner. All I ate that day was, like, a sandwich or some shit. It was a good sandwich, though. It was, like, uh... It was, like, buffalo chicken and, like, um... It was a spicy sandwich. Well, not spi- Not spicy for me, but people who can't handle spice, I guess it would be spicy for them. But it was, um... It was some pepper jack. Some banana peppers, a little bit of mayo on there, you know? And some, uh, buffalo chicken. It was on some wheat bread, it was delicious, I loved it. COVID's still out there. One of my friends definitely invited me for coffee and I never answered him. I never text him back. <laughs> and I didn't mean for that to happen. I did text him back, but not about the coffee. I texted him back when I went shopping, because uh, we had, like, a conversation about what, like, uh... I was telling him about, like, the round eye part of the goddamn... Oh, shit. <laughs> Mission complete. I was telling him about the round eye part of the steak, and he kept going, like, do you mean the strips? And I'm like, they're not called strips, you son of a bitch. He's like, they're called strips. And, and then, like, I went to the store took a picture of both of them. Hey. <laughs> and then I said, 
this is a round die. This is a strip. You fucking idiot. And that was the reply. That was the reply he got from me from him going like, hey, man, want to want to go out and like head to a diner or something? And I just went like, motherfucker, this is a round eye. This is a strip. <laughs> Not going to lie, I started having doubts. Me too. You got to see. So this is the wow, this learn something new every day, right? Because earlier today, earlier today, earlier in the stream, we glitched through the door with silver for the fucking ball puzzle in the desert. And that was like the only like progression glitch that I really knew. This is another one. That's interesting. So what did this unlock for us? We're heading to the... Oh, we're heading to Kingdom Valley. That's what we're doing. Hope you enjoyed that loading screen because here's another one. Isn't it your favorite? You know what's weird? I remember this game taking longer to load. Like, I mean, like, really longer. It seems shorter than I remember. Alright. Now we have to run all the way... To somewhere. <laughs> Screw the ball puzzle. Exactly. I didn't know that you can glitch through that door until like literally like a year ago. Hey, the game takes longer to load than it did to fucking produce and publish. <laughs> Definitely. Again, what's weird, I said it earlier, but what's weird is, like, the earlier builds of this game actually plays way better than the finished product. And the only character who, like, still has all that stuff from the earlier build is Blaze. It's so weird. Where is the, uh... Does Silver get any more unlocks right now? Because I know there's a fucking... There's a goddamn, whatchamacallit, somewhere around here. There's a shop, but I don't feel like running all the way to it, because silver's not fast. Like, this wouldn't be bad. Running around here wouldn't be too bad if I could just switch to Blaze, right? Or just make the whole game Blaze. Oh, do I gotta do the fucking... I gotta do the goddamn trials again? Oh, come on, are you serious? Oh, fuck you. Ready for the trial? Yeah, sure, I guess. The test of friendship. Oh, Silver has different ones. I don't think Silver gets the test of love. Do you want to fuck Elise or do you want to fuck Amy Rose? I'll take the hedgehog, please. I will not touch Elise. She is a fucking mutant. This is your first test. Test of friendship. Show with your actions how much you value your friends. Here we go. As Marth would say, I fight for my friends. Is that Marth or is that Ike? I don't remember. I think it's Marth, right? It's Ike? Damn it. I mean, doesn't Marth say the same thing, but in like Japanese? Or he says something like, everyone help me or some shit like that, or everyone I'm fighting for you or something. I find it weird that everyone- <laughs> all the other Fire Emblems talk- <laughs> Marth and fucking Roy talk in Japanese, for no reason. And all the other Fire Emblems just talk in English. Try my best not to get myself killed out here. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Photo fish photo finish that shit, you know? Oh come on. There you go. Give me that, I'll take that from your hands. Oh shit. I 
I felt like that did absolutely nothing. Get me. Come on, come here. I'll take all that. Ow. You know, at least I don't have to do it with zero rings like fucking Sonic's test or whatever. There we go. So, quick question. <laughs> Is it me or does the monsters just look like Xenomorphs? They do, 100%. Right? But, um... So, question, right? Like, real question here. Would you rather play Sonic 06, right? Or would you rather play... Fucking... What, what is the Sonic Forces? Because I'll be honest, I'd rather play 06. I fucking hate horses. Like, at least I can have fun with how glitchy this game is, right? But Sonic Forces is just so fucking boring. <laughs> this game? Exactly. I might even play- I th honestly thought I would play Sonic 06 over Sonic Boom 2. The Wii U Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric or whatever, not a Fire and Ice or fucking Shattered Crystal. Those are pretty okay. They're not nothing crazy, but they're okay. Oh my god, I, di I didn't even think you were in- <laughs> I didn't even know that Blaze was in there. I thought it was like a bounce pad or something. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Wizard 101 or 2000. Hopping on Neopets. Man, so... <laughs> last year... Oh shit, I didn't even see that. <laughs> set all the Zubats on fire. Who wouldn't want to set the Zubats on fire? How many of them you run into in the fucking caves? God damn it. Like, I love Gold... Actually, take that back. I don't like Goldback. I like Crobat, though. Crobat's cool as shit. Crobat's such a great fucking Pokemon. People think it's weird to like this game over Forces because there's no glitches. Dude, Forces is fucking bad. <laughs> like, I always say, like, here's the thing. A fucking, you know, to me, a broken game is better than a boring game, right? I'd rather have fun. Why is that the mission is to get... Why is the mission impossible to get above D? Probably because of the amount of rings that you get. Right? I assume that's why. Hey. Second trial is trial of memory. This trial will gauge your determination. Not my memory? Okay. Here's a trial of memory. It takes determination. What? <laughs> Two different things, buddy. But, uh, I'd rather play a fucking, I'd rather play a, uh, a broken game over a boring game. Boring games are the fucking worst. A game is meant to be fun, and even if a game's broken, you can still have fun with it. Right? If the game's boring, then you just sit in there, it's like doing homework or some shit. You're filled with determination. No, I'm filled with love. God. Place Megalovania. I was playing Guitar Hero earlier today with a fucking controller. Because I don't have the guitar shit. Alright, so what am I doing here? Uh oh. Maybe I should have talked to him. <laughs> maybe I should have talked to him first. Is this. Is this the one where he. Is this the one where he acts as. Your heart still falters. Oh, is this the one where he acts as fucking quiz questions? Yeah, okay, fuck this guy. Fucking thinks he's smarter than me because he's wearing glasses. I wear glasses too, dickhead. He's wearing a yarmulke, he's not even Jewish. Hey. Instead of asking me do I want to try again, it just kicks me out of the fucking mission. That's stupid. <laughs> fuck this game. You can just memorize which portal, uh, what portals? Did I just say portals? Portals are the right ones. 
Yeah, I used to do that, I guess. Cuz I used to I used to just remember shit about this game. But I just don't know more. Hey. I remember some things. Fucking loading screens. I want to kill myself. Test of memory. All right. Answer, answer my riddles three. First question. What comes to mind with the words future? Inferno or ruined city? If you think mission, go right. If you think escape, go left. Wait, what? what? Hold up. Look at fucking silver glitch out. What comes to mind the words future, inferno, and ruined city? Oh, okay. I thought he said something else for a moment. I was like, whatever, man. You gotta load another question? Are you kidding me? Alright. Next question. What comes to mind? The words flame of disaster. Seal and ten years ago. For Princess Elise, go right. For Blaze, go left. Fuck you. What comes to mind, you think, death and waste of time and in the suffering. Is the an if the answer is Sonic 06, go left. If the answer is gun in your mouth, go right. What comes to mind with the words blue hedgehog for hatred go right for teamwork go left See now you're now you're challenging my beliefs. That's not even funny Fucking hate Sonic <laughs> Break his legs take him out back. I guess I'll go left I Said teamwork go left, right? Guy looks like he's trying to start a cult, but in the end just looks dumb Somebody get this man a soapbox to stand on so he can sit there and go, hey, at everybody that walks by. Hey. I see into your heart. You may have banished all doubts from your mind. However, looking back on the past, maybe what has calmed the wavering of your heart? Shut the fuck up. Keep your heart and mind strong as you proceed to the next battle. Free. I'm going to kill all your children. You got a D. I need to pull it together because I wasn't true to myself, I guess. I don't fucking know. Uh, Silver. I like Silver, but fuck this game. <laughs> Come on, loading screen. You can do it. I believe in you. Good job. Uh, what the fuck just happened? Why did my camera shake? What was that about? Hey. This is the final trial. The trial of heart. Let us begin. Fuck. God damn it. At this point, I'd rather do the fucking Skyward Sword trials. Oh man, that was so bad. <laughs> I take hey. back what I said. Skyward Sword Trials were so fucking stupid. They were kind of cool in concept, though, but they were the same damn trial. All right, this is a battle of fear deep inside you. Have a battle of enemies without using any out. Wait, what? Do I get rings at least? Please tell me you give me at least one fucking ring. Test of courage. Yeah, the courage to give. Give me your credit card number. Okay, we get rings. Alright, cool. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He said no objects. Am I allowed to use the... Fuck you. No objects, my ass. Thanks for the missiles. Ow. Bullets hurt. Take that. 
Excuse me, coming through, guys. Jump! It's like a Michael Bay movie. I didn't even hit that guy and he blew up. Ow. My Cheerios. Stop it. I need to lower my cholesterol. Dead. Oh, come on. take all this. Thank you. Thanks for the missiles. Ah! My Cheerios! Where's the rings? There we go. <laughs> Turn, Silver. Damn it. Balls in your face. Take it. That wasn't bad. What if he just went like, I still use all those missiles, you lose. Oh man, I really hope he doesn't do that. You have faced your fears and overcome the test. You have proven yourself worthy of the royal family. The route is open. You can now head to the old castle. So what if a regular human wanted to do these trials? Looks like I'm on a roll. Oh, but I got an A for that one. Okay. Test of memory? D. Test of heart or whatever? D. Test the blowing shit up. A. Make sure to save your game before going to Kingdom Valley. Of course. Why would I? Why wouldn't I save my game? Did I do that last time? <laughs> Did I not save my game last time? We didn't have that much trouble in Kingdom Valley. Before. Also, we have way more lives than. Well, I said way more. Like. Three more lives than what we had for Sonic, so. For some reason, Silver's campaign is more generous with lives. I think the Kingdom... I think Shadow has it the worst in Kingdom Valley, because you have to do his fucking vehicle shit, right? Imagine being, like, the fastest creature alive, but you still using, like, motorcycles and shit. It's not a big deal if you forget, so as long as you don't game over. Aw, oh, game over. I won't do that. I don't think we game over during, during Sonic's run-through. We almost game over that Crisis City, though, but that's because Sonic didn't want to fucking jump a gap or some shit. What's going on? Circumstances have changed. I need to rescue the princess. Remember me making it through? Okay. For some reason, I felt like I game over. Maybe it's just because... Oh, no, wait. We did game over, right? We did game over. Fucking, uh... We didn't game over at, uh, fucking... Whatchamacallit? Crisis City, but we game overed at, like, the volcano. Because for some reason, Sonic just didn't want to jump or some bullshit. Like, the homing attack didn't do nothing. Radical! Doesn't this fall? Oh, okay, I thought like one of the bridges fall or some shit. Explosions are cool. Radical. All 
All right. Isn't that cool? I can create steps. That's amazing. I love that move so much. It has such a great range. Oh. I didn't mean to blow them all up at once. Can I paralyze you? Yeah, I can. Die. I can make that, right? Cool. Oh, come on. You oh, the fuck? All right, Silver. Give it a moment. Can't move it too much or we'll go crazy or some shit. The most gentlest push ever. Huh. Oh well, if it works, it works. What the fuck hit that thing? Oh. I can make this right. Oh, they're like little Pokeballs. Blow them up. I'll take these. Never mind, I'll take the missiles instead. Never mind, the missiles didn't do shit. Oh, hit one of them. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. Well, give me the fucking bomb then. I guess not. There you go. <laughs> they make it in Valley of Cheerios. I'll never forget that. Just calling this damn. Just for years as a kid playing Sonic, calling the rings Cheerios. I'm like, gotta give my Cheerios. Sonic loves Cheerios. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, calm down. Calm down, explosions. Please. Thank you. Oh my fucking god. Alright, well, shit. I'm just gonna fl fly over there. There you go. Give your buddy a hug. Uh, never mind, I guess not. No, my Cheerio! Is someone shooting at me with a gun? Oh god, no. No. <laughs> I need a Cheerio somewhere, please. Where? Where the hell am I? Ugh! Hit the fucking creature, damn it. Uh, give it to me. That was scary. <laughs> uh, rather than holding a jump button to fly, you mash it when you travel greater horizontals. Yeah, I was trying to do that during the shadow fight, but for some reason, he didn't want to do the teleportation shit. Like that. But it also takes like a... This takes kind of like a big chunk or whatever. Hmm. Like I rather just I rather just levitate. It's more uh, reliable for me. Can I not jump on this? Thank you. Also, I can get like kind of the head start with like a forward jump. Look at that. It's not a teleport move, it's like you mash the button. Oh, yeah! You mean like that? I forgot. Yeah, that was a thing. I did use that before, at some point. Like, a long time ago. But I'm not that worried about it. I guess I'm like so used to this game. Like, I don't remember everything about the game, but, yeah, people would do this shit. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. But, um, I guess this game doesn't worry me that much. 
Like maybe uh, maybe the first time I played this game, I got super paranoid and worried. I would game over all the fucking time. Thank you. Uh, get that pillar down. I didn't even hit the damn thing. The robot hit the fucking pillar for me. That's great. Oh, pathetic spikes. You think you can stop me? Don't you know who I am? I am Nezno, the ultimate life form or whatever the fuck. <laughs> so how many people- Ah, oh, fuck! How many people- <laughs> How many people? Back in the good old days of- Of Newgrounds. Watch fucking Nezo Unleashed. Like, the obvious, like, Broly-inspired Sonic animation shit. <laughs> and then you had... And then fucking Shadow and Sonic fused or whatever. Became Shattuck. There we go. All right, where are we going? Saw one of those movies. It was like, didn't even know Dragon Ball was, <laughs> didn't know what Dragon Ball was at the time. Yeah, I remember watching it and I was like, isn't this just the fucking Broly movie? But like, but like instead of you know instead of Goku punching him in the gut so hard or whatever the fuck that he exploded. Instead of that, it's just uh. Oh. There we go. Alright. Instead of Goku punching him in the gut or whatever, fucking they just fused. <laughs> you think you can destroy me by transforming into some sort of monster? Oh! Wasn't the guy who made that shit supposed to, like, make a sequel or something? Like, for, what, 20 plus years now? Where the hell am I going? Up here. It's like Lego pieces. Just connecting one after the other. Satisfying. Alright. Well, that was cool. Toss the ball my way. Let's play catch. Really? Did nothing? Okay. Is there an extra life over here or something? What's over here? I'm kind of tempted. Nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Forget about it. Oh! That scared me. Not gonna lie. There we go. I'll take you. Thank you. Get my Cheerio. Let's see, <laughs> they're just more Cheerios. Okay. You sure there wasn't like an eagle that was supposed to come down or something? Was this the first fucking checkpoint we got? I can't remember. Never saw it coming. Yeah, 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 I know it. Ow! One up. 
we go. Oh, that's later in the level? Okay. I could have sworn that... Maybe it's on Sonic's thing that there's, like, an alternate route that you can take with the fucking... With the... Whatchamacallit? Oh, shit. Can I hit that from here? I should be able to. There you go. Oh, my Cheerios. Come on, man. I'll wait for him to attack. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. There's boxes here. Let's play it safe. Fucking full like a deck of cards. Look at that. Just folding them. Ugh, it crumbles into itself. Okay, there we go. Look at the range on that. I love the stand move. Stop! In the name of love. Stop. Don't. Don't do it. <laughs> I love how I'm just pelting him with his other friends. He's like, my brethren, why you betray me? Have I played Shadow Story yet? Or did I go straight for silver? We went straight for silver. Next time we play this, we're going to do Shadow Story. Our first uh, story we did was Sonic. And then... If we have time during... I don't think we'll have time during Shadow's thing. But, um... Take me away, Magical Eagle of Wonders. Uh, if we have time for, um... The final story, then we'll do that. But I don't think we will. After Shadow's thing, because... Silver's the shortest, right? And then Shadow's like the second longest, I think. But I know last story is uh <laughs> Jet the Hawk. If Jet's wait, if Jet's a hawk, then what the hell is what the hell is uh What the hell are the other two? I forgot the big guy's name already. It's like Jet Storm and fucking uh Jet Storm and Fuck. What's the other guy's name? Forgot. They're all hawks. <laughs> yeah. A waves of swallow storms and Albatross? Albatross. Okay. She's an alpaca. Can't... Oh, no. Okay. That's only on Sonic's thing. I was like, can't he fucking just crash through the... fucking glass or whatever? <sighs> Man. Honestly, I wouldn't... <sighs> I would be mad if they gave this game another try, you know? Maybe not this game, but at least the level design. I really do like Kingdom Valley a lot. I like the level design in this game a lot. Besides Crisis City, I fucking hate Crisis City. I don't know why Crisis City was the one that made it into fucking generations. Should have been Kingdom Valley, it should have been White Acropolis, it should have been something else. Hell, even the fucking desert. Like, come on. Maybe not the jungle, though. The jungle sucks, too. I hate the jungle. I don't think any of the jungle levels are fun in 06. Wow, great job, Sonic. You ran two feet. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. There we go. Guys, stop. Oh, shit. The thing was falling behind me. I didn't even notice that. 
I'm just gonna ignore you guys. There you go. Look at these spikes. Who put this shit here? Really? That was bullshit. By that, <laughs> let's play a Sonic for uh, for so long in this. <laughs> exactly, you play a Sonic as a total of like two seconds. They let you play a Sonic in this part, but not Blaze. Get my one up. <laughs> Great. Ah, oh, fuck camera angle. Hit the pill. Get, come on, Silver. There you go. You guys got missiles or some shit, right? Oh, come on. I didn't mean to hit him. I'm trying to hit the building in front of me. There we go. Move. Uh-oh. 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 There you go. Give me some missiles. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. Stop auto-aiming. Hit. You're not helping. You're not helping, Silver. You're not making this any easier. There we go. Put the damn missiles down. Oh, great majestic eagle of wonders. Take me. Take me to the land of... Come, come on. There we go. <laughs> and then they give you a battle gauntlet. Oh, did that blast all my Cheerios away? Cheerios! No! I got one. When's the last time they gave me a checkpoint? Give me, give me those missiles. Go give your friend a hug. There you go. Ow! Cheerio! Where'd you go? Delicious. Really? You couldn't take the last missile and die? You gotta do things difficult way? Yeah! <laughs> Silver's the longest because he's slower. But I think that's why he's the shortest, because he's slower. Like, it seems like they give him long stretches, but that's because most of his gameplay is about him, you know, hitting shit. But overall, his levels are, like, shorter, right? And he doesn't have to do any mock speed sections. You know what? I'm forgetting about all the other shit at the end, too. Does Silver have to fight the larva form of, uh... Of fucking Iblis? I don't think so, right? I know he fights, like... He fights, like, what, Iblis' heart or some shit or some bullshit? I don't know, like a shell or something? Oh no, all our work was for nothing, because Elise is dead. And the fires of hell opened up and destroyed the world. It's more than half an hour difference. It's 
Okay. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, Sonic. Not really. Wait. There's still a way to change this. If we were to look at Sonic Earth, eyes. Oh my fucking god. We'll be able to They're so Earth. soulless. Understand. The one eyeball that they have. At least Blaze has two different eyes. Hedgehogs, they only have one eye. <laughs> Cyclop ass. Oh, God. this myself besides you got somewhere to go right you bitch i'll make sure to change elisa's fate and that in turn should change your future too but it doesn't thank you silver yeah just save her Nice, nice talk. Nice talk, Blaze. Wait, so we jumped through the same portal? <laughs> Why do only female Sonic characters wear clothes? <laughs> Listen, we don't... That's not true. That's not true. Sally Acorn's original design. She did not we wear anything. Save our world now. We don't have to change the past. I'm sure also, all the other random freedom fighters from the original comics, like the Australian team or whatever, fucking one of them was like a honey badger or some shit. I don't know. Well, then let's hurry. You know what's weird? Speaking about older fucking Sonic characters, one of the reasons I went back to like read some of the old Sonic comics was because I wanted to know where the fuck a uh, bunny rabbit came from. Cause I'm like, she looks interesting. She's like half mechanical and shit. What happened there? And she literally just shows up in one of the episodes of fuck. Like her debut is one of the episodes of the old TV show, and she literally just shows up. And Sally goes, "Oh yeah, this is my friend, by the way." And they never say anything about her backstory ever. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, so we're just gonna like ignore it? <laughs> we're just gonna ignore that she's like half robot? Okay, that's cool. like such an interesting design but there's nothing with it oh <laughs> silver no i know you have a hate boner for the for the monster but come on that's one monster waifu you don't want to touch great god i hate everything that has to do it what the fuck I hate everything that has to do with like Crisis City and sh all that other shit. I do not like these levels. I don't like their aesthetic. I don't like. I don't think I like the music either, to be honest. Music's alright. It's not bad. It's not bad music, but it's not. It's definitely not my favorite. There we go. Oh, come on. I'm behind it. Really? There we go. When he exposed his head? Oh, really? I thought it was just you gotta go behind him.
Because usually I just walk behind him and it works. That's usually what I do. I should have checked the fucking store for upgrades before I did this, because we're in the last... We're pretty much at, like, the last part of, like, silver shit. Excuse me, coming through. Let me through, let me through, there we go. What other upgrades the silver has? Let's see. Uh, works with armor as a come okay Does silver have any other upgrades after the teleportation shit? What did I do? What did that do? Activate this? Well, guess I already missed my timing on that so fuck that one Oh, come on Oh man, I'm so fucking hungry right now. I'm trying to think what I even ate today. My stomach is growling, holy shit. Use the footage that comes floating along with the lava floor. Oh no, I'll just run on the lava, Mr. Tip Guide. Guide tip. Whatever whatever the fuck. Think Silver doesn't get interesting upgrades like Shadow or Sonic? No, definitely. Like, so like, Sonic gets useless upgrades, but they're still interesting, right? The only interesting one that Silver gets is the, uh, ground pound shit. Because it just has, like, really good fucking range. But other than that, he has fucking- he has what? He has, like, a aerial slap that barely hits. He has, uh, this thing. Which takes forever to fucking do. So... And he has this teleport, which doesn't even take you that far. It's weird. And then Shadow gets a bunch of chaos shit. And like stronger damage and stuff, I think, right? Coming through. There we go. Into the fire you go. God, I'm so fucking hungry. God damn it. I wonder what I'm gonna eat for breakfast. I'm really just thinking about food right now. That's all I got in my mind. Yeah, so Shadow gets... Shadow does get, like, the best ones, because at least you get... At least you use them, right? They're fun to use. Better than whatever the fuck he gets in, uh, his own game. Oh, man. I'm not looking forward to that. One of these days, I know I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna fucking play that game, and I'm probably gonna go for the true ending. Because holy shit. Shadow of the Hedgehog is... <laughs> Again, rather play this game than Shadow the Hedgehog. Holy shit. Fucking Shadow the Hedgehog is goddamn such a time waster. At least you get to see him karate chop Eggman to death, though. That's cool. I'm really trying my best to not even, like, get hit here. Be as mobile as I can, be as nimble. As fast and efficient as I can do this. Oh, God. Is there any boxes out here? Let me get, let me get some fucking boxes. I don't want those guys to hit me while I'm in mid-flight. The last thing I want happening is just to get a game over or some bullshit. We haven't even got a checkpoint yet, have we? What? They're so, like, 
they're so thoughtful with fucking lives for silver, but they never... Like, where the fuck are my checkpoints? Come on, man. What are we doing here? Get off my psychic point. Ow. There's my checkpoint. Oh my god, thank you. I love how I hit him with the box and the worm look like, oh shit. <laughs> Nowadays, I believe you can just download complete save files. You can, but what's the fun in that? Alright? Like, there's, like, there are definitely some games where you're just like, fuck this, it's not worth doing a bunch of shit. But then, like, you know, where's the fun in just blasting through the, not blasting through the end, because blasting the end means that you're actually playing the game. But what's the fun of just, like, loading the game up and just being like, eh, there it is. You know? You want to, like, earn it a little bit, right? Also, I don't think anyone would, like... Like, if, if I'm going to do a playthrough of Shadow, I don't think anyone would really appreciate it if you just went like, and then I put in a cheat code. <laughs> it's not a cheat code, but you know what I mean. It's like, and then I went to the end. It's like, no, they want to see you suffer. That's the main reason people watch other people play Sonic games, right? Either that or like speedruns. All right, I, I'm not going to be able to jump that high. That's not going to happen. Oh. Silver actually had some speed there. Holy shit. Scared me a little bit. Gave me a heart attack. Too fast for me. There we go. Cool. <laughs> you are honorable than 90% of people who play Shadow of the Hedgehog. Oh, man. Like, again, there are some playthroughs that I've been prepping for a while now. Like, for example, uh, like, sometime this year, I definitely, sometime this year, we're gonna do Persona 4, right? And in order for that playthrough, I did two playthroughs. One so I can unlock the new game plus, cause, well, I did multiple playthroughs, cause I played it on the Vita. Then it fucking got re-released on PC, so then it's like, well, that's the better version of the game, of course, Hadoi. So played that again on the PC, unlock New Game Plus, played that again, so just in case, just in case I fuck up the run and don't get max social links for all the characters, I can still have a save file with the ending with the max social links. Just to show it off. Right? I also did the same thing for Persona 3. And Persona 3 is probably not going to get a playthrough this year, honestly. You might get it, like, at the beginning of next year or some shit. I don't know. And then, if fucking, if somehow, by the grace of God, Persona 3 or 4 gets a remake, like, before I even do the playthrough, well then, fuck that, we're playing the remake. So then I gotta, I'm going to have to play those twice. Kind of like with Persona 5. <laughs> Persona 5 came out, I said, here's my save files, just in case I ever want to stream them. Then Royal came out, and I said, well, time to get to work. I'm a madman. If you're gonna, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, like, stream or, like, do a playthrough of a game, I want to show off as much as I can, right? So that means you gotta do all the work. You know, but I'll never do that for something like... It depends on how absurd it is, right? Like, for example, I'm not sure if anyone knows, but there's a YouTuber by the name... There's a YouTuber that I definitely love his worth et ethic in terms of, like, his Let's Plays and stuff by the name of Chucker Conroy, right? I'm assuming most people know him. Took him forever to get a million subs. Like, way longer than what he should have actually took to get a million. But his fucking Xenoblade Chronicles playthrough... He 100%ed that shit. Ridiculous. Ridic I would never do that. That's too much. Right? Also, his Pokemon playthroughs, like, he does, like, full-on Pokedex entry for every Pokemon and, like, their catch rates and shit like that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you love Chugga? We love Emil here. That's what you... 
that's the work you want to put in, right? Well, that's the work I want to put in for when I do things. Because if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right. Which is why it's taking forever for the emotes to come out. Also, got a got confirmation that uh, my friend is currently working on the emotes right now. So, got an email from him earlier today. So I'm really excited about that. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. Oh, come on. Fuck you, further bitches. Blaze, where are you? Help me. Oh my god. Is this the end of the level? I think this is near the end of the level, right? I don't have to... Oh, my Cheerio! There we go. Ooh. He's the only Let's Player I watch on YouTube, really? Yeah. He's one of the few Let's Players that still... That still is around that I watch. Cause... I don't wanna bad... I don't wanna badmouth anyone, right? Because it's not cool to do that. You know, let them do them. But there are so many Let's Players that just like... Kind of just... <sighs> I hate to say like they change because let's be honest, we don't really know who they are. Right? Like as people. But... Man, people have changed. Holy shit. Like, off. Oh. It's like... They'll do Let's Plays of fucking... The people I'm talking about, they'll do Let's Plays of games they don't even care about just to get the clicks. And then they'll bitch about it. Right? So that sucks. <laughs> or, uh... Or maybe you'll have a Let's Player that's like... That's like so incompetent. Right? That, uh... That they'll bitch about the game and within like 20 minutes they'll just look up a guide or some shit. Like for their whole let's play. Not even for like a part that they have a hard time with. They'll just be like, what does the guide say? Okay. And you're like, come on man. At least try to play the game. <laughs> yeah. Prefer to watch someone play something that they have hard in. Exactly. And if someone's doing a blind playthrough then, you know. If you have a hard time. Admit that you're having a hard time. Sometimes, even sometimes I gotta look shit up, right? I'm not perfect. But at least try, at least give it like the good college try. I don't fucking quit. Don't quit and be like, I'm doing this with a whole guide at my side. Unless you're doing like a hundred, unless you're doing a hundred percent playthrough, right? Then you'll need the guide. But then there are some people, for example, uh... For example, some people like, some call me Johnny. I love some call me Johnny, he's great. Um, there's some people like him who, the way he records his shit is that he'll, uh, he'll do multiple recordings because if he doesn't do something in the, in like the order that he likes it in, then he'll just stop the recording and redo the whole thing over. I like that worth ethic. That's my favorite type of worth ethic. It's just like, nah, if I'm going to do this, you got to do it right. Yeah, but most Let's Players that I watched and shit, and streamers, either they like, either they changed, they quit, or fucking, uh, or, you know, they split up from, they split up from, like, whatever group they originally were with, but for some reason they don't, <laughs> for some reason by themselves they seem more depressed. <laughs> and you're just like, aww. You're like, I can't watch this. I feel like you have, you have no soul now. Come on, do your little halt, your little pulse thing. There you go. Ableist trigger used dark pulse. It wasn't quite effective. Come on. Do the pulse. There you go. I probably have enough to like run twice, but I don't want to risk it.
come on. There we go. What the fuck? Oh, I forgot I gotta do this. What? What am I doing? Oh, there we go. So, what was that thing? Am I standing on top of the gold ring? Oh, wait, no, that's... I... Where am I? <laughs> what do I do? Where do I go? There we go. Okay. If Silver's a Psychotype, then <laughs> would it be super effective? Hmm. You're right. You're right, but he's not. He's a fairy type. <laughs> Wouldn't that be super effective too, actually? Are fairy type is fairy type affected by dark? Yeah, it is okay, shit. No, you know what? Silver's just a normal type, but he fucking he has <laughs> for some reason. For some reason he has uh <laughs> he has psychic. Wait a minute. Is Dark Pulse a dark type move or a ghost type move? If it's a ghost type move, then it doesn't No, if it's a ghost type move it's super effective against psychic, right? But psychic doesn't affect ghost. God, too many fucking typings in Pokemon. Fairy type fucked everything up. Oh no. Oh no. Do you want to cancel save? No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That's bad. At some point, we're going to have to do a Pokemon playthrough as well. I got to finish my... Oh god. There's a play... There's a sword playthrough on my channel that I never finished. And that's because fucking... That's when my Joy-Con started drifting like a motherfucker. So I couldn't play Pokemon anymore. Dark Pulse is a dark move. Okay. Just making sure because you would think that Shadow Ball would be a dark move because it says Shadow, but it's a ghost move. Man, I fucking... God. The, the buff they gave to uh, Sucker Punch and like Sun and Moon was crazy. Every fucking Pokemon had Sucker Punch, and if you had fucking Deso Eye or whatever the fuck it was, it was super effective all the time. Everybody had Sucker Punch, and it did so much damage. I like Sun and Moon for the. St I like Sun and Moon's story, but I like Sun and Moon. I like Sun and Moon's Ultra gameplay more because that one's more challenging. And fucking, oh my god. Omega and Alpha Sapphire, whatever the fuck. So, fuck those remakes. They were terrible. It looked like, he's getting closer to his final form. like, the game was too easy. Like, remember how, like, Pokemon Emerald, whatever, if you head to Moss Deep City, you would get fucked up by the twins? Fucking in the remake, they're like, oh, they only got Soul Rock and Lunastone or whatever the fuck. Like, come on. Where's the other Pokemon? What happened? Well, my blaze is gonna get blown up. Alright, so what am I doing? I gotta. I gotta hit him before he gets here? Thanks for telling me after it happened, Blaze. Thank you. Alright. He's here. What am I supposed to do? Well, he got me already. Now what? Oh. And then I gave him a migraine. <laughs> Blaze dies. Silver goes, Blaze, let's finish this. Take that. Oh, 
Oh, is there nothing else here? That's it? Damn it. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Did it. I'm safe. I guess I'll use my psychic powers. <laughs> he made a funny face at you. Watch out, Silver. Oh no, my head. What the fuck, man? I just want to play some dodgeball. My nose itches. What does that stance remind me of? I don't know why I jump. I don't know why I keep jumping. It reminds me of something. Maybe he's just maybe just Naruto, I guess. Yeah, just Naruto. No, but it's not just Naruto. It, it's like something else, not just Naruto. Maybe like Ninja Gaiden or some shit. Like something specific it reminds me of. Bam. I love how Blaze died and didn't come back. <laughs> She's gone. She didn't even respawn. We did it. Yay. We're beating it. Yay. Maybe it's Genji from like Overwatch or something. Yeah, we did it. It was that easy to beat him. Yay. The final boss. It was, it was easy. Eggman was more difficult, to be honest. But it was cool stopping the big... Stopping a big rock. Oh, I got a B. I guess. I would have loved an A, at least. End on a high note, but I guess not. Now everybody, shut up! Because I actually like this cutscene. Oh, fucking loading screen. God damn it. Not loading screen, my bad. Saving screen. There we go. Everyone shut up, I like this cutscene. It's the only one that makes me feel anything. We never had that talk, Blaze! You literally said almost nothing this whole entire playthrough. I can't. I wouldn't know what to do without you. You fought alongside me to save the world. You're my friend, right? Yeah, she fought alongside me, but we didn't even play as her in the fucking final in the goddamn final level at all. She even died. <laughs> Oh no, she got Kingdom Hearts 3. Now we need to go and search for Kyrie.
Fucking Blaze is so goddamn cool. Even when the game's not about her, it's about her. <laughs> Didn't we talk about this, Silver? No, I, I don't think we did. <laughs> no, I don't think we ever did. I'm pretty sure I said, hey, Blaze, is it okay to kill someone to save the world? And you just looked at me. I love this song. Isn't this song just like, isn't it just Green, isn't it just Green Hill Zone? <laughs> oh, we're going to get DMCA'd. We didn't get DMCA'd last time, but I ended the fucking credits before we even had a chance to, but we're definitely going to get DMCA'd for this shit. God. So, Silver's pretty fucking cool, right? I like Silver a lot. And, of course, we love Blaze. Everyone loves Blaze. But, they handle it so fucking poorly here. And honestly, out of every character in Sonic 06, Silver's the most interesting. And it sucks, because then, because this game was so fucking bad, and they fucked it up so bad, they don't know what to do with Silver after this. He just kind of shows up in every other game, and no one ever questions it. He's just kind of there, right? And it's, ah, oh, it's so bad, because Silver is so cool, right? He's kind of a bitch, not gonna lie, he's a little bit of a bitch, but he's still cool, right? He, like, he's willing to go through some shit. I mean, at the end of the day, at least he didn't get fucking mightied. <laughs> at least he didn't turn, like, mighty and fucking Roy the Squirrel or whatever. Roy or Ray, whatever the fuck his name is. Right? God, mighty got it so bad. <laughs> He got it so bad. Man. But Dreams of Absolution. I fucking love this song. It's so good. He just goes to the past to hang with the homies. Exactly. Does he even go to the past anymore? Again, is he even from the future anymore? Because, like, <laughs> I don't want to spoil the ending of, of 06, but fucking, like... This game, this game was supposed to be a reboot, but it failed so bad that it wasn't a reboot. We just kind of ignored it. So, this storyline doesn't count towards anything, right? And even if it did, it still wouldn't count towards anything. But, um... But it's like... Is Blaze still a fucking princess in a different dimension now? Or fucking... Like, what's going on? Right? I do have to say, I do, like, during that cutscene, I do like the call to that, though, for Sonic Rush, where she says, trap us in another dimension. It's like, oh, I get it, because she's the princess, and eh, that's cool. Right? According to the description of Sonic's generation, he's still from the future. Fuck! Then what about Blaze? Because if he's still from the future, then Blaze fucking... Wait, 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 if he's still from... Wait! <laughs> then what about Sonic? What about Sonic Forces? Why is he there? He's in Sonic Forces too. He's like sitting right there when Knuckles is like, "All right, guys, we're going to war." <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man, Silver, I fuck, I hate you, you fucking loser. <laughs> Silver's such a goddamn loser, but I love him. He's a loser, but he's our loser. Can't hate him. Can't hate him. Can't bring myself to hate him. All right. All these characters are from 10 years from now. Everyone's just going to turn into an <laughs> anthro animal. Exactly. Listen, we already know the world's being taken over by furries. Monster Musume tucked the anime front, and now Beastars is taking everything else. So, you know? God, it's such a good song. It's such a good song. This was before Dubstep was popular, by the way. <laughs> like... <laughs> God damn it. I find it weird that... What? Do we... You know, now that I think about it, what happened to Amy? <laughs> Where'd she go? Like, we just... She just kind of disappeared from... She literally disappeared from the story. Like, last thing that we did was that we saved Elise with her, brought her back home, and then that was it. And then it just went back to Blaze and Silver. I do like the interesting dynamic, though, between, uh, 
it like even though there's not much i do like the dynamic between like silver and uh amy right i think that's fun i think it's fun having like a character that just like hangs out with amy but doesn't really care that much about sonic they're just like oh come on right <laughs> kind of drag amy back down to earth a little bit I wish Blaze had more of a role, though. Like, she really didn't say much. <laughs> she just sat there and was, like, stoic the whole time and just went like, Yep, yeah, I'm here. I'm cool. Right? Alright. Credits, are you done? If you play another song, we're skipping. I'm not... Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Do you want to overwrite your data? Yes, I do. Oh, man. Well, that was Silver's story. Right? We ended with 12 lives. And for Sonic, we ended with 7. God damn. Alright. This theory that Blaze is just Silver's imagination. Get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> it's just Silver's imagination. Shut up. <laughs> and, then, and then you're gonna tell me Ash is in a fucking coma. Alright, great. I never understood that theory. It's like Ash is in a coma through the thunder shock that Pikachu gave him, so he's not real. Ugh. Right? But anyways, that's going to be it for Sonic 06 tonight. Next time we come back, we're going to be fucking doing shadow shit. Uh, the next stream is going to be Phoenix Wright. So get ready for that. And... That's it. I don't have any announcements today. So, that's that. So, I'm going to end the stream real quick. Real quick, like, because I got to go do some shit real quick. But, um, for everyone who came live, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. For those watching the VODs, thank you so much. It helps out. And for those who are watching this on YouTube, think about come watching it live. You know? It's more fun that way for me, for you, for everybody involved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.